So be careful about what you say. Don't say anything weird. Stop talking about all the secret things that we were talking about beforehand. Yeah, all of our plans that we were talking about? Okay. Yeah, all our plans. Even though all our plans are, in fact, discussed publicly. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part. It's where most of our plans come from. It's time for me to make the panted uh, go check out the stream over on Twitter thing. Yo, we are, like, almost on time for stream. So, let's continue playing Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy. That is the full title of this game. It is Pokemon trading card game. It, it was before, back in the 90s, we didn't have time to abbreviate the TCG. <laughs> yeah, we were too busy. Being too radical. Busy. What up? Hello, King, King X Road. Welcome. Welcome. Let's get right into it. Let's hope that this remembered my PS3. It did. All right. I was about to say, oh god, please. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, Yom, the, the protagonist of trading card game, has always looked like a pirate to me. I can't. Yeah, I, I can see that. Like I think it's bandana. because in Fire Emblem, this is how pirates look like. Yeah, they just like look like dudes in bandanas. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. All Pretty right. Pretty much exactly just that. Yes, basically exactly that. Okay, where did we leave off? How many badges did we have? I think we have three. Yes, and we were about to go do other badge checks, I think. Let's see our status. We have two badges. We're working on the other ones. Oh, we're working on the third one, okay. Yeah, because there was a bunch of like weirdness with it. Uh, one dude didn't want to challenge us. Oh, right! It's the guy that we have to like go find all of his, his minions and beat them yeah. at the other places. Then he'll play with us. That's right. What is she saying? Any, all any the master of this club doesn't sleep. Okay. We don't use Pokemon here at the water club. We were at the water club. That's what we could. I have this rare Arcanine, but I prefer Lapras. If you own a Lapras, would you mind trading it for my Arcanine? Would you like to trade? Do we have that? Uh, I think we have a Lapras. Yeah. You can trade. Traded a yeah, Lapras. Yeah, because remember we used to oh, use yeah, the right. water gun thing. Oh, let's fucking go. We got the Arcanine. Oh yeah, that's a, that's the cool Arcanine art. That was a real card art. It is. I guess all of these are, so that doesn't mean anything, but I remember uh, that card very specifically. Yeah. Recently, I've been looking at... I was uh, opening packs with my brother, and it's surprising how far we've come from two colorless 10 attack <laughs> for a... a what, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two fire energies, you can do 40. That new... Uh, yeah, it's a dope art. Um, that new Charizard that I saw it literally just plays itself and gets two, three fire energy immediately attached to itself. And yeah, this attack- Yeah, uh, that, the fucking, that one's so good. And yeah, and this one uh, does, uh, discards two fire energy and deals 40 damage. There is, uh, the brand new set just came out, uh, Paradox Rift. Yeah, that was, that's monster. what we were opening. I, I just monstered. There's a, um, a Pokemon's Roaring Moon is in it. And one of its attacks is just three energy knock out the opposed Pokemon. <laughs> That's so funny. I've been looking. <laughs> I was debating getting back into it. I think I have it on my phone, but I didn't want to play it on my phone. Because I think that eats battery like no one's business. It, it's better about it. I don't know if they did an update because it used to like overheat the shit out of my phone and now mm -hmm. it doesn't anymore. Can I cuss on Twitch? I, I guess I can. Uh, it's fine. I put uh, this as for everyone, but it's okay. the worst. The only kid that would ever watch us is if Jake was watching and he decided to put his child in front of the true. view of the street. That's true. I, which he should know better. He should know that I can He, should, he should know better. So, uh, yeah. Shout but, outs. Uh, <laughs> it used to, like, really overheat my phone, and it doesn't anymore. So it might be better about it. I don't know. But, right. um, but, but the I'm PC all... version is still superior. Yeah. They also don't derank you, though. So I'm still at the the level where I'm at, and from what I remember of the game, it was a lot of like every only the only decks anyone was ever playing. They was... do rank you? No, I was still in Pikachu rank. Unless I that, is that still not well, very Pikachu's high? Pikachu's just like not very high. Okay, fair enough. That's why. All Pikachu right. rank is like the second one from the bottom, I think. Squirtle and No French should be able to beat the the Water Gym, right? Uh, if we draw well. Probably. All right, let's do it. Squirtle and No Friends. I forgot that was our deck name. It's the ultimate deck. It feels so good to swim in the pool. Friendless. <laughs> Friendless. Do you want to take a swim or would you rather duel? Do I want to swim with the woman or do I want to duel the woman? I think the answer is I would like to duel you, lady. There will be two prizes 
the duel be won. Now, is this misogyny that the female <laughs> card player only wants to play to two cards to two? I thought it's usually three, isn't it? Uh, yeah, two is like for the super quick games. It's usually like four. Damn. Do you, does this count as like misreading the signs? <laughs> Rizless main character, is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, I'm just a little bit. I think we could probably go with Machop over a Horsey first, because we have two fighting energy. So let's go into it, and we have War Turtle, and yeah, okay. We're good. Oh, this is going to be so easy. This woman is going... She doesn't. She's not going to know what's going to hit her. She wanted to go swimming with us. We're about to drown her in Machop power. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtle and no friends, also Machop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's the ultimate, like, homie. Portal and no friends, also friend. This one friend. Yeah. Oh, she's about to lose. She's gonna pound. That's all you got? You're- <laughs> you, you- We set up this entire game for you to pound and then lose to a Machop flow kick? Uh, we win. <laughs> that was the- We did it! <laughs> Terrible challenge, that was. Nice going, idiot. See, that this is in real life. This is where he starts going. The, the girl who was saying, like, oh, would you like to swim with me or would you like to play a game of cards? And you choose cards and you beat her and you beat her to go, nice deck, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> nice deck, loser. And then you leave. Mm hmm. Uh oh, I guess I lost. Maybe I shouldn't have been swimming so much. I sure would have preferred to go swimming with someone. <laughs> Ooh, Gyarados. Dugong. Nidorino, full heal, star you. Nah, nothing really in this one. Sad. It's okay, we got another Colosseum pack. Let's go! I love that. Dude, I miss Fat Pikachu. God! I know, what I know. The peak design that ruined, lost to time. Never forget what the liberals took from you, Fat Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> this is the future that liberals want. Yeah, they Skinny Pikachu. Skinny Pikachus only. So sad. So, so, um, I also miss him too. It's a shame that we, we, they brought him back for a brief moment with the giganticized Pikachu and then took him away from us. Uh, I guess I have to practice more to improve my Pokemon card game. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, idiot. Stop gonna, lounging by the pool. Now watch me go duel your friend. Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Isn't it wonderful to duel in a place like this? Yeah, let's duel. I like how we've all just collectively decided that the the phrase for playing card games is dueling. That's just what it is. It is. That's the easiest That's way of saying it. That's just what it's it. called. Yeah. I want to say it's because of magic, isn't it? Because magic is the first. I have no idea. Which I, I know that we called? I know we think about it because of Yu-Gi-Oh, but Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh was yeah. inspired by uh, Magic the Gathering. Back when it was originally called, what is it? What was original Yu-Gi-Oh called? Wizards and Dragons or something? Uh, uh, Magic and Wizards, I think. Magic and Wizards, such a baller name. Imagine if that had popularized. Because you know, you know, the original Yu-Gi-Oh card game had like lore, right? Like, uh, it was meant to be that you were a a, a sorcerer mm -hmm. and you were summoning creatures and casting spells yeah. and stuff. That's that's <laughs> just literally just magic because in magic you're yeah. a planeswalker. That's why they had to take it away because they're like, okay, now that we're actually going to be selling stuff of this, uh, this we is can't actually just sell magic anymore. <laughs> yeah, we we can't yeah. do that anymore. Should we energy removal this scyther? If he, uh, if it, do you think it will build up to slash or do we just like? Wait? Um, I think we should wait until we see a second one get on him because I doubt he's going to have a double colorless just vibing in his hand. Oh, okay, fair enough. No need then again, to... oh. I guess you could use it now, just in case, because what's the difference, really? Hmm, we'll see. Maybe we draw him a choke or something. Oh, shit. I forgot that he... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, okay. Oh, he's resistant to fighting, isn't he? He is, but that that's fine, we can pivot. And we can go into our boy, Squirtle. I was worried about a potential, um, double colorless energy. That would be bad, but I would much rather just take away the double energy if that's the case. Paralyzed check. You're paralyzed. Get paralyzed, idiot. Boom. In your face. Alright, let's see what she's got now. Okay. A little concerning. We can take away the grass energy, though, so he can't focus energy. Because I think, actually, legitimately, if this thing focus energies, we lose. Because uh, it will deal 60 damage to us, and all of our deck is mm -hmm. weak to grass. No, no, thank God, okay, it's lightning. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's electricity, mostly. Okay, can I... Yeah, I can do this right now, can I? No, I don't have any other... 
Well, let me first energy one level you. Scyther, get rid of that. I don't need it. Damn it, we need a card in our hand, and then we can look for a War Turtle. But now we'll go here. Eat Bubble! Fuck. But yeah, I was debating getting into, uh, the new Pokemon. Probably not actually, I don't know, maybe building a deck. Um, going to an LGS is always very... God damn it. <laughs> Did she heal? I don't know, hearing a bunch of people talk about Pokemon in the new meta, I guess we just need... Oh my god, we can trade away our Blastoise for a... <laughs> for a War Turtle, let's go. Uh, we'll hold on to it. Um... I don't know, it gets me in the mood to play more of it. But I don't know if I could ever actually make the time to do... Because the Pokemon tournaments are the same time as the Magic Draft. So... Aw, oh, damn. Yeah. It's a little bit sad for me. I'm like, damn. I already have trouble not being... Okay, I guess we're just gonna draw perfectly, and it doesn't matter what we... <laughs> what we do. Never mind, just draw the out. Can we just go straight <laughs> Just War top deck the out. Yeah, can we go War Turtle immediately? No, we can't. Alright. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, what this Pokemon Breeder is literally dead in our hand now. <laughs> what are we gonna use it for? Could uh -oh. get a choke, right? Oh, we can. Oh, uh, that'd be oh, a real God. shame if we were to evolve and this sleep check. Oh, right. Better. Evolving gets rid of the sleep, yeah. It sure does. Love all the rules. Hey, Lapras. We can play Lapras. Oh, we could have traded Lapras away from a choke, but it's fine. Hydro Pump. What is your energy power? It's you can move any number of... As, you can play as many waters per turn as you want. Damn, that's good. And then yeah, what Hydro really Pump good. does... 40 plus 40 10. 40 plus 10 more for each water so, that is not used to pay for its cost. So the so highest we, could we put can... Two, and we can't add more than 20. So we could put two more water onto him to make it do 60. That's about it. Alright. I mean, that's not going to kill this thing. But it's fine. Hydro Pump. You know, for how powerful Hydro Pump is supposed to be, that is actually, to be fair, this Wigglytuff just got its entire shit rock, so maybe for for the time yeah, it's period half of it its health. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you playing so many fossils? Stop playing so many fossils. Oh my god, and now we're asleep again. For, for Omni. There are so many, like, stally players in this. There are. Fucking stall for time, motherfuckers. Alright, we can trade in this War Turtle for Machoke. Or Machamp. We can't do Machamp because we need a Machoke. And I'm gonna be very sad if we have all our Machokes in the price cards. Uh, Machoke. Then we can Fighting Energy on the Machoke. And then we can Professor Oak with one hand. That's pure value, baby. Draw seven. We would be winning here if we had a full heal, but sadly we do not. Ooh, we can scoop up our own Pokemon. <laughs> if we feel that annoyed with the, with the situation going on here. Uh, did we already put in energy? We did. Alright. We're done. Oh, I forgot to do... I could have done a sleep check on the attack, I think. I forgot. My bad. But yeah, there's not a lot of this stalling stuff. Aerodactyl? No more evolution cards can be played. It's a good thing that we, uh, <laughs> we stopped that. That would have been... Already did that. Yeah, we're done doing that now. Yeah, that would have been devastating. Super energy. My god. You know, the stall tactic of hers is kind of working. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I just wish fewer people did it. Like, God, so many people in this game are like, what if we just, uh... Stalled the game do out. Do nothing. Really? The yeah. whole game. Uh, we can look for... An I, I, I'm gonna tell you this right now. We're looking for a water energy, and we're killing this fucking thing right now. Zero consequences. Hydro Pump, deal 60. <laughs> you are not surviving another turn of this. We're not dealing with that the entire game. Ooh, Seedra! For the first time ever, we can evolve our horsey. It's never happened before. And this Scyther has been sent out to die. Ah, oh, Sword Dance. Terrifying. Alright, thank god. Okay. I forgot. I forgot to set the horsey. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we can Pokeball. Let's see if there's anything. I just Hell wanted yeah. to flex, to be honest. I'm gonna get Vaporeon. Just wanted to flip the coin and yeah. then win. I don't BM. really need this to win, but I felt like doing it. <laughs> that is my current MO of Yalm. To be fair, that is a big Yalm energy from, uh... It is big Yalm energy, yeah. yeah. I like the the idea that all of our card game protagonists are just Yalm. <laughs> just trying new games. Like, yeah. I'm gonna play Pokemon now. 
<laughs> exactly. That's the way. In a theoretical way. universe where both of these games exist. Exactly. That is the way we see it. He is the perfect <laughs> incarnate of what it, our. It just crossed my mind that I was like in a theoretical universe where both the Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh card <laughs> game exists. Like, that's not just the real world that we live in right okay, now. Okay, the world. But in, in fiction, he'd be some kind of world traveler who could travel between. Specifically, Ono. Oh, I keep fucking trying to. Unable to evolve. To... Oh, yeah, because the fucking Aerodactyl is like, why can't I evolve yeah, right now? Yeah, Aerodactyl. Damn. Well, I win. <laughs> I win anyway. Yeah. Peace, Amanda. Lose. I like the big flashing lose on their face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that makes them feel great. Yep. Oops. Loser. Fucking loser. Oops, I lost. Now I'm in trouble. The cops are now coming for me as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jail. Damn, card game jail. Imagine playing a card game so bad you go to jail. That's basically Yu-Gi-Oh! Now that I think about it. That actually sounds like something that would happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, Alakazam! As long as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another as long as you don't knock out the Pokemon. This power cannot be used if Alakazam is asleep. Confuse Ray. No psychic, sad. But whatever, he's cool. Ooh, the weird looking cloister. <laughs> Clamp. Spike cannon. Yeah, cool. Little arena. Uh, ooh, look, yeah, look at that Pikachu. It's a good Pikachu. Yes! Oh, he's so cute. Doesn't this uh, Vulpix looks like it's being put like multiple filters? Yeah. It might, it 100%, might just be yeah. <laughs> Its eyes look fucked up. It looks like it's been yeah. staring into multiple filters. It looks like um like that episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns got hit like with a bunch a buttload of drugs and looked like an alien. <laughs> By the way, speaking of uh, fucked up eyes, did you see that a bunch of bored ape like NFT dudes got like made blind at one of their <laughs> events? Yes, <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> I shouldn't and, laugh about it, but it's really funny. It is really funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that was just a good like helping thing of a morning of. I think it actually hit while I was right before I was about to go to bed, and I remember going. <laughs> Especially because they also showed footage of them dancing, and he goes like, "Imagine go going here and going blind." It was just like a fuck ton of dudes just dancing by themselves. <laughs> And then they went blind. Yep. Perfect. Man. It's <laughs> crazy, dude. It's a nice gloom art. I actually really like this background. Art. Man, I'm telling you, a lot of people don't appreciate the Game Boy, but I think it has a very nice aesthetic. Yeah, this... there's something, it's just very nostalgic. Yeah, there's something about it. All right, dude, it's in the like speed Times up. bygone and all. Mm hmm. It's, co it's what I assume people in the 50s feel about lord of the rings <laughs> <laughs> a right, time of fair. old yeah ye time of old that's yes totally fair this is my gandalf the person resting over there is amy the club master if you wish to duel amy go defeat sarah and amanda first then i will test your skills and by chance you should win i will introduce you to amy the club master what you defeated sarah and amanda <laughs> You must be Go pretty. Go do good. that. What you did it. You must yes. be. Yeah, this is the perfect uh, sequence break here. I actually just tried to go to the woman, and then he blocked me, and I never talked to him. <laughs> you must be pretty good if you defeated Sarah and Amanda. It's not like one of them was only playing with two prize cards because she would prefer to actually just be in the water than. Yeah, she play. doesn't even really want to. Mm -hmm. As promised, I'll test your skills. If you win, I'll introduce you to Amy. Would you like to duel Joshua? Yeah, sure. Okay, this would be a one-match duel with four prize cards. Damn, what the hell is Joshua's deck got going that we need to duel with four prize cards? This guy feels pretty self-important, I feel like. I feel like he's kind of like I think he's white knighting like, for this person. He does. He's definitely got that early simp energy. Yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll introduce you to Amanda when Amanda is unaware of who he is, <laughs> other than the guy who <laughs> blocks other people. I'm guarding Amanda. Amanda's like, who is this guy? Who's this fucking guy? I'm standing by my chair. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're on the play. Let's go. We have a singular Hitmonchan and a Dream. It's okay, because we're just going to punch the shit out of this shelter. Let's go. 
I always like the idea of Pokemon using moves that are not the moves. Uh, so Himonchan is just standing there fucking punching the shit out of Shelder. <laughs> Jab. Punch. Shelder's been eliminated. We're almost going to win. Gust of wind. Oh. Oh. We're going to beat the shit out of this crabby unless it evolves. No! It's okay. <laughs> no! It's fine. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot about Call for Family. He is actually legitimately stalling the game. I cannot yeah, believe Yeah, what this. else is new? What is- what, I hate these fucking guys, dude. I know. Um, unfortunately, Zen, if he- Energy removals are fighting energy, we're a little, little bit- we're in a little bit of a pickle. I'm not gonna lie. He- he totally won't. It's fine, right? Yeah, it's that's fine. the hope. It's fine, fine. It's, we're gonna be totally. fine. Just to be sure, I am gonna potion up. But we are gonna rock this guy with a single hit, Monchan. I love the idea of going, like, if I were to play Pokemon card game back in the day and I lost to a singular Hitmonchan, I think I would give up. It would, yeah. I would be so depressed. Yeah. yeah, it would it would definitely fuck me up, that's for sure. Especially if a kid show up, I hyped it up by saying, like, listen, I'm the defender of Amanda. I'm Amanda's number one fan. You have to get through me if you want to talk to her. And I we need we're playing with four prize cards. That's how fucking serious we are right now. And then I lose to Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan Turbo, but that was the only card that they played in their entire deck. Never mind, I have Squirtle now. He loses. But I don't need the Squirtle, because this Hitmonchan is going to carry. Just non-stop punches. And now he's down to a single life, and he loses now with that Krabby out in the field. <gasps> Holy shit. Never mind. <laughs> Evolve King <Kingler> Pass. <laughs> Now we have Machoke in here, okay, we do. There we go on the champ. Special jab on the Kingler. And that's it. Next turn we just jab and this entire Hitmonchan wrecked his entire team. Unless this Flail does something I'm unaware of. Oh, That would have been potentially bad, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. Jab. Hitmonchan for the win. Punch that crab in the face. <laughs> That's how I want it to all go out. Man, I love him on chance. It's a shame that he's not as good as I want him to be. Yeah. There's only so much you can do there, unfortunately. Yeah. He needs a uh, primate level evolution where he turns into a menace that has to be banned. <laughs> it's uh, just a monster. Yeah, an ex extreme mon. That's what I want. What? How could I lose? Mystery. Right, let's see what we get. Mew! Oh, we almost have... If we... Oh, Flareon. I was gonna say, I think we might almost have enough for a Psychic deck. Or well, at least we have Alakazam, which would be our finisher. Hey, Articuno. But not a good Articuno, I think. Flip a coin if Heads defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Blizzard. Flip a coin if Heads is attacked as 10 damage to each of your opponents. This is actually okay, isn't it? It's just very expensive. Yeah, it just costs a lot. Yeah. But it's not like... It's Terrible. no Machoke, uh, or it's no um, Hitmonchan fucking throwing hands and destroying things very quickly. Oh, we got almost star though. Praise the Helix, he's here. And he has a water gun and a spike <laughs> cannon. He's here. He is, look at him. He has that definite look of him that is like, I'm here. He's, yeah, he's, he's on the way. Why are he jumping out like that? What's he's, got him so excited? He's like mid, uh, he's like mid his All Might moment. He's about to show up and save the day. That's why he's flipping out like that. <laughs> Jumping out in the middle of Camino. Exactly, that's what he's here. Well, since I promised, I'll introduce you to Amy. Don't think you're that good just because you defeated me. I'm trash. We still have <laughs> I Amy. I <fucking> suck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you saw my I'm gameplay, shit, but I'm, actually. I'm actually not very good at the game. I'm just very good at sucking up to Amy. Amy, please wake up. <laughs> Huh? What's going on? I was enjoying Amy, my little Please, nap. you've been in a coma for a thousand years. Please it's, wake up. And it's time to duel? <laughs> well, um... Pss, 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 okay, so, like, oh, we all got our shit rocked really bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> this kid showed up at the pool, and I talked a lot of shit, and, and we ended up getting really fucked up. And, you know, it, it really hurts, because I tried my best, and I, I had so many of my crabbies, I even got a giggler, but he beat me <laughs> with an hit one chance. 
he just kept jabbing my kingler over and over again. <laughs> and he kept saying stuff like, punch, punch, punch. <laughs> and he kept like hitting his hands while he's doing it too. And, you know, I just feel like we really need your guidance. <laughs> we need you for this. Please. Oh, we need you now. What? You lost? <laughs> How could you? Oh, well, I was keeping it secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was whispering. <laughs> Was it Yom? I'll be your next opponent. I, Amy, the master of the water club. It would be hilarious if I said no, but we'll go yes. Let's do it! The rain dance. Oh shit, this is a Blastoise on Blastoise. But it's okay, because we have no friends. She likely has friends. So that yeah, puts too many the... friends in your deck just slows you down. Exactly. Okay, we can go potentially Eevee. No. <laughs> I looked at Eevee. No, we'll go Machop as a because he actually deals damage from the first attack. And if we win this uh, coin toss, we'll be in good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Please heads, please heads. Damn. Okay. It's brutal that you can actually attack on your first turn in this game. Yeah. You get so much uh, advantage from it. All right, we'll go Machop. Okay, well, the good thing is is that we killed this Goldeen in two attacks. So there's no- yeah, he's all, she's already preparing it to die. She's already building up Squirtle, which is smart. <laughs> Sacrificial Goldeen. Basically, to be honest. Low kick. Out of here. Alright, let's see. Imagine which one... just like, kicking the shit out of a fish. <laughs> I've always wondered how Goldeen actually fights in Pokemon, because in the anime they always make it pretty clear that Goldeen is useless if it's not in the water. Um, well, yeah, in the anime they always have to like fight in like the water gym is always a giant pool, uh, like a, that they're in, mm -hmm. which feels unfair because like, what if your Pokemon aren't water type? What do they do? Yeah, and in the old um, Smash Brothers games, um, if you got Goldeen, it was actively useless to you. I still think that was supposed to be Magikarp, and they just fucked up. <laughs> you think Sakurai just really hard fought for it to be Goldeen <laughs> over well, Magikarp? Well, just like, uh... Magikarp is the one famous for Splash, and <laughs> Goldeen does not do that. Goldeen has actual attacks. Oh, God. Um, I just looked back at the screen. Uh, I was just sitting here talking about Goldeen. I'll look back at the screen, and we're in trouble. Well, the, the good thing, Zen, here is this is their only Pokemon. The bad news here is I don't think... Oh, let's go, our savior. Oh, okay. it's time. Now, here's the question. Do we potentially try to stall or do as much damage as we can? It's going to deal 60 and it's we gonna, have... It's going to kill us, yeah. So it's going to kill us. What, what does and... Tailwag do? Uh, it doesn't have 60 attack right now. It only has 40. It gets 60 if it puts too much, uh, two more water energy on but it. But we only Tailwag. have 50, so it only needs one more water energy to kill us. Yeah. Um, Tailwag makes it so the defending Pokemon can't attack Eevee during their turn, if it's heads. Or we can quick attack and potentially deal 30. Um, we definitely need more time for Dugong to be online, if I look at this right. Because we currently have zero anything, so I think our best bet is actually Tailwag and hope to draw more energy. What do you think? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Go tail wag. Come on, heads, 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 heads. Yeah, if we had card, Oh, fuck. <laughs> if we had cards in hand to already use, I would say do damage, but we do not, so... Just hope she doesn't have bad. the... Wa no water energy, no water energy, no... Oh, thank God. All right, we live for an additional turn. Okay. Fighting energy. Sure. I mean, we can just evolve Dugong now. Uh, bless you, boy. Uh, let me check. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with... Oh. Does he have something with, like, a huge cost he can't use right now? Oh, damn. Either one of these kind of fuck us over, to be honest. Mmm. We'll save it for Dugong. But for now, we'll continue to Tailwag. Damn! <laughs> Well, she doesn't have the water energy, it's fine. She only has- she's now flooded with, uh, dudes instead. Alright. If we don't draw a... energy for this one, we'll use the gust out. Oh, that's not good. Um... 
Okay, one of these has to have a withdrawal. Okay, yeah, the, the Lapras. Because the Lapras will take... Right? The Lapras will be our best bet. Actually, Probably with Confuse Ray, I would think. Smokescreen makes it so... It could potentially do nothing. Water Gun, it needs two for Confuse Ray, so the worst will take is 10 damage. I think we have to do it that way. So, and it costs two retreat as well, so he can't just switch back into, um, switch back into it very quick. So now we're both in an energy quest. Damn it! Top decking, bastard. Confusion check, not confused. Let's go, Dugong. I still believe in you. Come on, water energy! Yes! Okay. Uh, Aurora Beam. Now, here's the thing, we actually can't get too much damage because then the Blastoise instantly kills us, so we have to actually also be building up Hibonchan oh, in the that's background. that's true. <laughs> no uh -oh. fucking way! <laughs> I, uh, we lose. Uh, yeah, that kind of feels like an L for us right now. Damn. She kind of... You know what? I can see why they kept her as some kind of, like, guardian pharaoh in the back. Uh, cause she has completely just wrecked us. So... Uh, I, there's no scooping. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to wait until she kills us. Oh my god, that's right, you can't scoop in this game. No, you can't. So we're just gonna have to slowly, unfortunately, watch our boy Dugong get destroyed. Of course you came too late! Draw a card. Damn. Well, for next game, we should be able to be- the, the, We were winning up until she played Blastoise and destroyed us. Okay, let's see. Um, Hitmonchan is literally our only other Pokemon, and there's no way we can build up Dugong in time. Do we just do it for the Hail Mary and hope that we draw more fighting energy? I guess we could. We don't really got much choices, to be honest. Alright. Yeah, that super energy removal really, uh... Really Pretty good us. card. It is, <laughs> turns out. Pretty damn good card. Energy manipulation in a game... Oh, we're just too good at the games, then. Now, if we could get, like, some kind of, um... Easy way to scoop up Dugong without having it slowly die to Confuse Ray by Lapras, that'd be fantastic. Because it's got entails every single time, and the second that we're actually active with a good... <laughs> With a Pokemon with the appro- How do we have so many Machokes? Yeah, we might we have drew, so many Machokes. We All drew. Machokes and War Turtles. Oh my god, our friends then. Yeah, Wait. see, this is why it should be Squirtle and no friends. This is what happens when you have too many friends. It's true. We get completely washed. Alright, we just have to hope that this is a fighting energy on the top of the deck. Let's go fighting energy. That is not a fighting energy. Let's go. Jab. I should have put the water energy of him just in case. It had. She has another super energy removal. No, she has energy retrieval. She, she actually gets back anything she lost, and because of Blastoise, she has him. <laughs> no, God. I told you! The second we had <laughs> a Pokemon that could actually attack her, she was going to suddenly magically get heads on everything. Oh, weird. And we're also drawing only our fighting types. <laughs> Thank god. Alright. Hello, Hasuko. Squirtle. Too late. It's unfortunately... It's, it's, it's so over, it's not even funny how over it is. Because he also just removed our one <laughs> fighting energy. <laughs> I can't believe I can't... Oh, we drew Switch, but it doesn't matter. We, what are we going to switch into? Nothing! <laughs> Man. I can only just let her kill me. She just flexed us with a second blast. A second blast always just hit, our, hit the field, Zed. A se oh my god, dude. We're so fucked right now. Yeah. Sorry to the children watching at home. Yeah. But the children need to learn when to give up. Yeah. <laughs> children need to know. That <laughs> sometimes you just throw in the towel. Yeah. Sometimes you just lose. And that's okay. 
I'm going to switch out and hope to draw a fighting energy. Squirtle can die to its giant form. It's okay, Squirtle, you got this! <laughs> I also got washed by the water gym leader while using the water deck. She, it really feels like she's flexing on us. She heard all the shit that we were doing to her other gym uh, dudes, and she just completely flipped the switch and destroyed us. All right, I'm not playing that Squirtle. It's over. If you want, just the game just clearly wants us to lose at this point. Unless this is a fighting energy. Damn. Damn. All right. I see how it is. She's not even putting it on her Blastoise to do more damage. She's just putting on random dudes on her bench. And that is a full-on wipeout. Oh. Yeah, we got blasted. Oh my god. We even... Yeah, that was insane. Ha, I'm the best. Come see me again sometime. I'd like another duel. God, she went to go sit down even. Is yeah, we were not enough. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. All right, we'll try one more time, and if this doesn't work, I feel like we just drew badly versus her drawing insane. <laughs> if this doesn't work, we might have to look into another deck. But I think, oh, thank God. God damn, it's a greedy ass hand. Unfortunately, we don't get to draw a card from her doing this. Rigged. What the hell? That's insane. <laughs> How many times do you think this is going to happen? We're at two. Three. One more time. Okay. Mm. Oh, we got Kangaskhan. And Squirtle that we can build in the background. I think we go Kangaskhan fetch until Squirtle... Kangaskhan out for sure. Yeah. Kangaskhan is like our, our best lead Pokemon that we yeah. have. And then we'll go Squirtle, and we're gonna see if we can Pokeball into War Turtle. And if we do, then I think we just build up to them, because, uh, oh, nice. Um, if we just get enough, uh, Water Energy on Blastoise, it's not gonna matter what they do. God damn it, of course. Okay, it's fine. Fetch, draw a card. Okay, sure. <laughs> If they, the the main thing that I fear is the super energy removal. Anything else I'm not afraid of. As long as we're drawing a whole bunch of cards, it should be fine. Because at the rate that she's going, it's going to take her a long-ass time to kill us. And fetch. Okay, more water energy. We just need to draw a single war turtle. Or double colorless energy so we can put it on Kangaskhan to attack. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, okay, so new new strategy. Beat the shit out of this Goldian with Kangaskhan. <laughs> Water energy, let's go. We just need War Turtle. Okay, that's fine. I would rather them get rid of it on Kangaskhan than Blastoise or something when we build them up. Uh, Water energy on Squirtle. And fetch. Let's see, Bill. That's two more cards for us, baby. Two more chances at drawing a War Turtle. <laughs> that would be very nice. Ooh, that works. I hate her picture. Everyone's picture in this game is so fucking smug. <laughs> like, why are you looking at us like that? Yeah, she's definitely... Oh, a double colorless. How, yeah. how, what does Kangaskhan need to attack? Is it four? Uh, four, yeah. Jesus. Dude. I just want to call oh, out... Pokemon the... cards suck so I much. But check out baby so Kangaskhan. Look at that. <laughs> Look at yeah, that little he's dude. Yeah, he's little man. He's so little excited dude. to be here. He's watching his mom <laughs> draw a card and get it some shit rocks by a fish. <laughs> yeah, keep drawing, mom. Keep drawing. Yeah, fuck him up, mom. Do it. It's like that. Have you ever seen the... Um, okay, so I think we're going to go double colorless on Kangaskhan and see what we can do. What was I going to do here? Meanwhile, the protagonist is just, like, smiling. <laughs> yeah, that's the way uh, it goes. Just a nice little guy. Um, I, for, I think it was in the Justice League. In, uh, there was an episode of Justice League where they had the... It was the one where someone put a plan on Superman. Uh, they put it on Batman, and in Batman's fan... Because the plan, basically, when it's on you, you have a fantasy of what you want the most. So for Superman, it was seeing... Um, 
where he came from. And for Batman, it was watching his dad fuck up Joe Chill. <laughs> so as a kid, he was <laughs> yeah. like, he had that exact same expression as that little Kangaskhan right there. Like, go, go, gotta. And then go, when they were. Dad, get him. Yeah, and then when they removed the plant, it, Joe Chill immediately shot his family. <laughs> It was a hell of a moment. That's fucked up, actually. It was a fucked up episode. <laughs> that's the one where Superman is... That's from the clip of Superman getting super pissed of why they said, like, why you should never piss off Superman. <laughs> because he immediately was like, oh, no, you're so fucking dead. It's not even funny. <laughs> and he beats the shit I out of him. I love Superman. That's, that's what the, the... He's the best, dude. I know. I love him, too. Superman fucking rules. He does. All right, let's beat up this fish. Come on, just one heads. There we go. Can we get a little bit of overkill, though? Yeah, baby, overkill. <laughs> if only we could have done this previously. All right. It's okay. We've stabilized now. The The Kangaskhan has helped us draw <laughs> so much more cards. Oh, fuck. And now we're even again. <laughs> we're about even, I think. Oh, god damn it. The difference is that she has a war turtle and we don't. No way is that enough to kill us. God damn it. All right. Um, we don't have War Turtle yet, so we have to bring out Machoke. Um, we do got Seal though. I don't think we're gonna be able to get to a Machoke in time, but we can't. We do have Dugong now, so I think that's probably the best course of action. We'll see. That one Professor Oak was enough to completely <laughs> put us back on even. Even Stevens. And now, unfortunately, she's going to be doing a lot more damage to us. Ooh, another Kangaskhan, though. Unfortunately, a little bit worse for wear now, but I think if we ever need to go back to a, uh, a slightly stally thing, we can. I cannot believe we drew so many cards and did not draw a single War Turtle. We have, like, three or four in the deck. I think we have four. That sounds about right. All right. All right, Lapras. Yuck him up because Dugong has entered the chat. And of course, we draw a switch <laughs> to prevent a. Uh... <laughs> Dugong has entered the chat. Exactly. Dugong is in Pokemon chats showing Aurora Beam. Let's go. 50. I don't know why Dugong is so strong. I've... Is there even a negative to Aurora Beam that I'm not aware of? Because 50 uh, for 3 energy not seems. Not that I know of. There is zero <laughs> 50 for two water and any color. This is kind of insane. Uh, let's see. We have to put a fighting energy on someone. We'll put it on Kangaskhan just in case, but nah, this, this Lapras is dead. This Aurora Beam is... Dugong is just him, 100%. You look at him, look at him in that art. Majestic. This war turtle, not afraid, even though it has bite. Okay, I'm kind of afraid. Let me, <laughs> please don't evolve into Blastoise. All right, this is unfortunate. I cannot believe that we are just gonna not draw. So do we deal 60 here and try and set it up for maybe Squirtle or someone else to kill? At this uh, point we have to build uh. up our second Squirtle just so that we ha it's kind of insane that we have not drawn a single one. I guess plus power is our best bet. I'll try it. I mean, I could have also Ice Beamed, but I don't think Ice Beam is guaranteed. Yeah, it, it, it's a coin flip. So I'll, we'll just deal Great. 60. Everybody loves those. Yep. So that way it's in kill range from Squirtle unless it evolves right now. Okay, good. So that has to mean that one of those war turtles is in our prize card. That's just that's what it that's what it feels like to me right now. Put on the second squirrel. Okay, don't don't fuck this up. Bubble. Paralyzed when it's dead already. Let's go. Now the squirtle is in a very precarious spot. Okay, Zen, it has to be in one of these. Which will pick a number between one and four. Ah, uh, three. Damn. It's fine. She doesn't have Blastoise either. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, thank god she evolved the wrong one for some reason. Okay, War Turtle off the top right here. That's our best bet. Come on. Come on, War Turtle, please. Please! 
God, I don't understand dang. how we're not getting us to talk about shitty luck, man. It is insane right now. Um, do we want to switch into Kangaskhan and keep drawing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would prefer that than to have both our Squirtles die. Fetch. Please, Wart. Oh my god. There's just, this is just insane. And meanwhile, she's gonna have, she has Blastoise! <laughs> The game just does not want us to win, Zen. <laughs> yeah, Amy, it's kind of feeling that way, isn't it? A little bit. It's a little bit suspicious that... Oh my god, and then fucking draw Machoke way after the others have died. We're not drawing... We're only drawing our level Pokemon, and we're not drawing a single one of our breeders or anything like that. At this point, I'm building up Machop again. It's fine. It was Tails. And as long as it keeps having smoke screen, we are always gonna have to do a, a, a turn check to see if we can even attack. Alright. Cool. Put a fire energy on Kangaskhan and we're gonna comet punch. Okay, let's go, baby. Four. Okay, three. Come on, one more. Okay, one more. I'll take it. That's a knockout in one. Yeah, that's hit. not bad. That's not bad. Okay, one, two, or three, Zen. Two. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad if we end this game without ever drawing a single war turtle. <laughs> Agility. If heads Just statistically, that feels insane. It does. Agility. That deals 20? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We can't even use this one water energy because that's the only thing that's gonna make it so that Blastoise can even attack. <laughs> So I'm going to put a Fighting Energy on Lapras. And we are going to Comet Punch the shit out of this thing. One. One. Come on, more. Come on, more. Statistically, we should at least get two of those. Yeah, just like numerically. That's how math works, right? Yeah, yeah, 50-50. Okay, as long as it's not also getting heads, we're fine here. We're just trading 20s. Come on, War Turtle! At least we can put a uh, water energy on Lapras now. Comet Punch, come on. Okay, one more. One more. I just wanted to for the overkill. Give me four, baby. Hell yeah! Yeah, BM. <laughs> yes, the ultimate BM. Okay, now one or two, Zen. Two. War, War Turtle has to be here. Are you for kidding God's me? sake! <laughs> when I die... I want War Turtle to put me down in the casket <laughs> so it can let me down one last time. <laughs> Comet Punch. Comet Punch. Alright, here we go. I don't need War Turtle. All I need is a mother and her son and or daughter in her pouch to punch the shit out of this Blastoise. Alright, that's fine. As long as she doesn't draw a super energy removal, we're fine. <laughs> Great, we can start don't, building uh, up Machop. Don't jinx us like that. <laughs> Okay, I am a fan of the jinxing. If that final inner, uh, that final price card is War Turtle, I'm gonna be so angry. Statistics say that that ha is bound to happen after a four out of four, so nothing, nothing I can do there. I should win seven, anyway. Right? It's fine. Yeah, sure. I mean, we have Machoke to build up now in the past. You are. She's gonna put another water energy. Another water energy. Another water energy. <laughs> there was zero point in her removing the energy from any of that. Um, I think we can go Lapras and keep building up Machop in the background. Uh, we are now in what I call the danger zone. Because now our only hope is Machamp and he requires three. Actually, no, we can win with Machoke, right? If we submission, but we need another <laughs> fighting energy. More fucking energy! Um. Confusory? Or water gun? Confusory, right? To just try and confuse yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, let's go. It just needs to get tails. You just need to get tails. Please. Please, please, please. Yes! <laughs> yes! working out perfectly. 
Is it still confused? Drew a double colorless. That is not what we yes, need. Yes, it right is. Now. Uh, submission. I mean, we have to use it on Machoke, because I don't want to use it on anyone else. All right, so, yes, Water Gun it now, because it's confused. Yeah, get its ass. All right. It, next turn, we can win by putting a Water Energy of it if this fails. Or even if this succeeds, actually. Oh, yes, let's go! <laughs> we win! War Turtle? Where was War Turtle? Where was War Turtle? I'm going to check the deck after this, because now I'm convinced we don't run any War Turtles. <laughs> now we have zero War Turtle in our deck right now. We had 16 cards left in deck. Six. They were all War Turtle. That's insane, actually. Oh no, I lost? Well, since I lost, you can have this Water Metal. This should get you a step closer to inheriting the legendary Thanks. cards. Fish. Well, since I lost, I guess you could have it. Yeah, we won the Water Metal. Here, you can also have these. They should come in handy. Fucking uh, sick-ass Mewtwo here. Venom off! Let's go! <laughs> this cool 90s Tentacruel. Yeah, Tentacruel. Jellyfish Sting. The defending Pokemon is now poisoned. That's actually pretty good for just a confirmed. Considering how many times you have to just flip a coin to do anything. To flip a coin, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, Dino Stance Poliwhirl. Doduo. Tentacruel. Slowpoke. Psyduck. Okay. And another one. There's super energy removal. It does require you to detach one from yours, so it's not the greatest, but still. God, this Magmar art has gone through it. I miss when Magmar used to look like, like a demon of some kind. Yeah, some gross little creature. Yeah. Just like Grimer. I miss this Grimer, too. <laughs> I yeah, think I've said original... Nasty, gr gross little Grimer, yeah. Yeah, just look at him. Uh, original Grimer Sprite is one of the best. I especially love the one in, I think it is the original Yellow, where it's just his hands up in the air. It's amazing. Yes, he's just like excited. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. Come see me again. I like to duel you again sometime. Sounds good, lady. Uh, we're checking the deck. We run two War Turtles. Okay, I thought we ran more. And apparently we only run two Squirtles? That uh, feels weirdly unbalanced. It does, actually. Not, I think it's because we didn't have another Squirtle, so I think we can run another Squirtle and remove, likely, an, uh, another Pokemon. Uh, Horsing and Seedra. Uh, Lapras. Uh, Articuno. I feel like we need to get rid of Horsey and Seedra. And then re replace something for Seedra. Maybe another fighting type? Uh, maybe a good solid standalone, because the stand that Kangaskhan honestly carried us. If it was not for Kangaskhan, we would not have won. So I'm going to see if we have any other... Maybe like a Lickitung or something? We do have Lickitung. Yeah. It's pretty good at Stalin. Does Snorlax get stolen? Mm. Too expensive for us, I think, actually. Mm -hmm. We could always do the ultimate flex and put in uh, a silly Articuno. I don't think we'd ever be made. Because, Arti again, this move does less than um, <laughs> Dugong, to be 100% honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is easier to get Articuno on field, but that is still very, very obvious here. Vaporeon. Other Vaporeon. Game Boy exclusive Vaporeon. Hmm. I bet we can put in another EV evolution that just uses, um... Yeah, we could probably use the Game Boy Jolteon, funny enough. How many EVs do we have in the deck? We have one EV, so not worth it. Uh, we'll just put in Lickitung. We'll leave it at that. That should be fine for now. I keep it's two, so there was a, a there was two war turtles in that deck of sixteen cards. We drew almost our entire deck. Yeah, that ratio still feels low. Yeah, especially when you consider that we had Blastoise from the start. 
that we drew into our Blastoise. Hmm, do we want to run two Blastoise, though? I don't know who we get rid of. At this I point. I don't think two 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 is a good line. No, not until we not can get without some more search options. Fair. Okay, let's look at our trainer options. Pokemon trainer, Pokemon breeder. Oh, we have Pokemon breeder now. We can probably run this on the like Lucaton. <laughs> Though funny enough, it was not Pokemon breeder that we needed. It, it would have been. It would not have helped us in that situation. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. Alright, let's save it up, and I think we can go to a tournament now, right? I think so, yeah. Right. I think we might just have to check every time we beat up place. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let me check our mail real quick. Yep! Hey, it's me, Dr. Mason. I have some information on you about Amy's deck. I know you just beat her, but she is the master <laughs> of the water club. Her deck uses... I know you already ones. won. <laughs> Yeah. Blastoise's Pokemon power is really strong, so you should probably try and not lose to it, like, almost two times. <laughs> you should probably try to win. Yeah, this deck allows her to keep attaching one energy to water Pokemon to power them up. Her deck's weakness is Lightning Pokemon. Exit as you duel her using the deck using the Psychic Metal. Okay, run that by me A again. Psychic Metal Machine? What? Yeah, run that by me. Why would we do that from the Psychic Metal Machine? Aw, oh, man, look at this sweet Astro Dragonite art. Oh Step yeah, up. look, dude, he's vibing. He is. I like that. I'm there for that. I know. That's it's really guy. funny that Dragonite, in every depiction of official Pokemon art, is like a silly little dragon guy. And then in the Pokemon anime, the first time you see him is like a kaiju-sized monster. Yeah, he's like giants. <laughs> Yeah, he's huge. It was really weird. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, I kind of liked it, but I don't know why they did I it. I did like it, but they've never explained that. <laughs> when starting your turn before you attack, if Dragon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. That's nice. It literally is step in. It's saying, I'm going to handle it, and I'm going to slam him in the face. Interesting. Jolting on, Mr. Fuji. Another double colorless. Pikachu. All right. Don't give up, smiley face. It's me, Dr. Mason. It looks like you've won quite a few medals. Want to try building your own deck? Start by... Well, I don't know, I don't know what you mean. Squirtle and No Friends... What are you talking is... about? We've been using our own deck the whole time! Yeah, Squirtle and No Friends is completely different from Squirtle and Friends. Yeah, Squirtle and No Friends is uh, an original. Yeah. Keep changing a few cards at a time and eventually you'll have your own unique deck. It's not that difficult. We've already tried it. This better come with a booster pack. Oh, at this time you get two booster packs because I just mansplained you how to make your deck better. <laughs> Chansey. With her little grubby hands going, mmm, yes. Hello. Scrunch. Double edge. <laughs> powerful. Powerful stuff. Oh, yeah, there's Chonky Pikachu. Evolution. There's the other Jolteon. Pokey Flute. What does Pokey Flute do? She has one baseball form from your opponent's discard pile and put it into. Is it her bench? Okay. A silly ability to have, but I guess if they have a really weak ass Pokemon, you can just put it there. All right, let's yeah, go it's see probably to put something back into play so that, like it fits weak if they don't want. Yeah, I think that would make the most sense. First challenge comp is now underway. Defeat three opponents to win the wonderful prize of a level 16 Mewtwo. The game will be in one match, dual four prizes. If we're not accepting entrance here, would you like to enter? Hell yeah, I would like to enter. Then please should we save in case we lose? <laughs> Bro, we ain't losing. Look at this guy. You think we're losing to fucking Rocker McGee over here? I mean, I'm just saying, we tend to draw kind of shitty. <laughs> Only against Amy. <laughs> Alright. As long as Amy doesn't I'll show I'll trust up. you. Yeah, trust me on this one. We got this. I've played plenty of tournaments, and I have no save states in that, and then... Do oh, it's win? Lightning Club member Brandon with the Power Generator deck. Now, this guy does have, in fact, the counter to our deck, so... <laughs> that might just be bad luck on our part. Um, Machop, Squirtle. We're going to start with Machop because we have two fighting energy. And I'm also pretty positive that this guy is um, Lightning. Holy shit! <laughs> this man has well, zero he energy. he drew a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah his hand must be empty. Oh, the EV, the EV dies, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. God damn it. If you get... Okay, I think I think we kill it on our turn. 
Yes, we do in fact kill it. Um, no, on the second turn. Ooh, bubble ball. God damn it. <laughs> Things never go. Well, it's fine, we won the previous coin toss with him losing with tail wag, so I'll accept it. He doesn't win it again and hope he doesn't have Jolteon. He's in crazy top deck mode now, though. I don't, th I don't think there's any um, benefit to <laughs> setting every single card in your hand other than tell your opponent, man, I'm really screwed, aren't I? Double colorless, let's go. We basically won this already. I told you, Zen, you worried for nothing. Now, we are going to have to deal with this a whole bunch. Oh, God. Yeah, this is, this is unfortunate, but... Yeah, nothing we can do about it. Unless we want a energy removal. I've already decided that for the funny lols, we are going to remove that energy from. <laughs> so now he Just has to put in case. It, yeah. He has to... Yeah! <laughs> the funny play worked out, Zen. I'm going to put another fighting energy on... Kangaskhan. So it can attack with its hands if uh, something ever happens to Machop over here. Because again, like I said, he has lightning types, so he has our weakness. He's also just accepted that his Pokemon are gonna die. As he uh, should. Do we want a Professor Oak? Yeah, that's not a great hand. Yeah, okay. Seven new cards, baby. Dugong, Blastoise, Double Colorless, Potion, not much better. But it's fine. We can at least start building up one of our Squirtles. This thing is dead. Leave, Eevee. Draw a single prize card. It's Eevee, of course. We threw away our Vaporeon. <laughs> it's fine. Ooh, Magneton. Oh god. Yeah, this is my. Uh, oh, don't paralyze us, you fucker. Don't paralyze me, bro. Damn. Damn. We really need more search cards, man. That's like our biggest weakness. We can't fucking search anything. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit concerning. Do you want to try and use Potion to save um, Machop, or do you want to potentially save it for our Kangaskhan? Ah, uh, man. Um, ideally, we would have Machop because he's super effective against the Electric types, but I, I don't know that... I mean, we'd have to win the coin flip, and then we'd have to... It, it's too much. I think we should save it for Kangaskhan. And just start building Kangaskhan and expect Kangaskhan to fight. Okay. Because we basically can't use Squirtle. Yeah, not not the way it is. So we're just gonna have to flip done. Kangaskhan is ready on our turn, but this is concerning for sure. All right, we're gonna try and see if we can take out Magneton in a single hit with plus power on Comet Punch. I'm not sure if it deals 30 for each or just deal shit. It's oh, okay. We can no. <laughs> they don't have a confirmation on here. It's fine. We can retreat into Kangaskhan. Oh my god. My bad. They don't have a confirm. I just kept... I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> it's fine. Plus power. Jesus, dude. It's okay. It's okay. We'll still win this. Watch. We'll just get... We'll get four. We'll get... We'll, be, we'll get three. Yeah, see? Look. Three. Okay, we got... <laughs> we didn't get that. Oh my god. We were one Damn away. Damn it. One more heads would have been a fucking W. All right, well, he's going to miss this one. Because statistically, you can't get that many heads in a row <laughs> unless you're us that one time with Comet Punch. <laughs> statistically, it can't happen except for the time it happened for us. Exactly. My statistics have never failed me in the past. So. I have, you know, I play Dokon and I'm the master of bullshit math. Here you go. Heads. Got him. Dead. Heads. Heads. No. I was just- at this point, it's just for BM. 60, baby. Let's go. You just need to win one more. Oh, this Pikachu's got nothing. He's cute, but he's about to get completely blasted out of the sky. Scoop up. That's what my opponent should do. You know what? Just a BM, I'm gonna scoop up this Squirtle. I don't need it on there anymore. Comet Punch, we win. It'd be hilarious if I got four. <laughs> if I just got four in a row, but instead I'm gonna get... Oh, yeah. Lerp is here because I mentioned bullshit math. Perfect. 
Statistically, what are the chances of getting four heads in a row followed up by four tails? We're probably, yeah, that, that would have been not great, but we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. There we go, we won, we won, we beat Brandon. Now, unfortunately, we can't do a deck ch uh, change now that we feel like we need a little bit nope. more searcher cards in there. Most unfortunate, Brandon, have a safe trip home. Bye, Brandon. One half out of eight. I don't know what that means, so that must be bullshit map. So we meet our next challenger. Our next challenger is Eric. Eric. Are your decks ready? Prepare your deck? Yes. <laughs> yes, God, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, would you like to keep a diary? We can save, Sen. This seems cheating, but okay. Okay, so... Nah, it's called strategy, bro. <laughs> Ever heard of it? No. Don't believe in it. I feel like it's cheating. All right, let's see. More searcher cards. We can put in another bill. We have Pokemon Trader. We have Pokemon Breeder. But do we want one over the other? We'll see. We have Energy Retrieval. We have Energy Search. I just don't think we have that many search cards, like, owned, I think, is the problem. No, not really. We have Pokeball, but it's, like, not... A 50-50, yeah. Yeah. No. We're not doing that. that. <laughs> you don't believe in the gamble? No. Oh not God. Joey. Maintenance. That's crazy. That's just, this is just go minus three to go plus one? Yep. That's a crazy-ass card. Revive. Onto your bench, no. Full heal. Super potion. Gust of wind. Defender. Scoop up. Pokeball. We do have another Pokeball. We could run another Pokeball. I would run at least another Pokeball, yeah. Even if it fails, like, it's worth the flip. Yeah. Do we want to get rid of um, Pokemon Breeder since we only really check it for Machamp and Poke and uh? Which which what does Breeder do? Which one is Breeder and which one? Breeder is just put a stage two evolution oh, card from your yeah, hand. Yeah. Oh, we actually this puts the... it on the match. Oh, and you just. Yeah, that allows us to skip War Turtle and. Yeah, Pokemon Trader is the one where we trade one for the other. I would keep both probably. Okay. We got Bill, Pretty Professor good. Oak. Do we look to get rid of a Pokemon then? Because we're not getting rid of energy um, search or any energy removal. Yeah, maybe. All right. Mm. Or an energy card. We could ditch an energy card. We have a lot. All right. We can get rid of one water energy. 25 energy is enough in a 60 card deck, right? Yeah, we have a shitload. All right, all right. Save the deck. All right, let's go. I'm done deck checking. No. Let the second match begin. We're going against a poison deck. Oh god. I guess they expect you to know Look at the this opponent. guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, because these are the people in the clubs that you fight. Yeah. Kangaskhan, Machop, Hitmonchan. Shit. Is Hitmonchan going to be able to do anything? No, right? I don't know. I like leading with Kangaskhan here. Kangaskhan is a pretty safe pick, to be honest. And then we can put our and two players. We just draw next. cards. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, this one looks like it's a more fair because he only had two put down Pokemon. Okay, we go first. Let's go, so we can quickly check his. Damn! <laughs> no resistance. Yeah, no resistance. Neither one of them has resistance. Fuck yeah! Yes. Hitmonchan can fight, baby. Yes, he can. For a Pokeball, we will fail. Then we'll put a Water Energy on Kangaskhan, and then we'll <laughs> attempt to build up um, Machamp uh, if we can. Ooh, Lapras. Lapras in the back, why not? Fetch! I like that Ekans art. It's really coming at you. Ekans. And coughing! It's like a Team Rocket deck. The only two poison types <laughs> from the original Jud. Poison check failed in your face. That guy looks so ugly. What are you talking about Ekans for? Are you talking about Eric? He's trying his best. <laughs> There's not much he could do with what God gave him. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch. Yeah, look at him. He's kind of built a little bit like nerdy Brock. Oh god. Arbok. He's built like uh, May's younger brother. <laughs> he is if he grew up. Uh -oh. Yeah, like if he got a little bit bigger. Well, there goes Kangaskhan. And here comes in Machop. Oh my god, it switches us out? That's not great. It sure does. Do we want an energy removal? 
to prevent it from going to Poison Fang. Yes. Okay. No Poison Fang. I refuse to deal with Poison Fang. Fair. Fair and real. Okay, we can put another Fighting Energy on Hitmonchan for now. We can low kick. Okay. Alright, alright. Not bad. We just need a couple more low kicks and this thing's dead. Oh, alright. Not bad. That one deals 10 damage and we're dealing 20? Come on, get out of here. At this point, I'm building a Hitmonchan for the ultimate punch in the face. Because <laughs> if he switches us out, we just switch into him and then he instantly wrecks this Arbok's entire life. Which is why he stopped putting energy on Arbok. Oh yeah, it's so over. He just gave us a- this move sucks! It's take 10 damage to switch into another Pokemon! That sounds great! Alright, special jab. Get out of my Special face. punch, yeah! Boom. Arbok, get rocked. Blastoise. Okay. I remember how cool it was in the original Pokemon games to use Hitmonchan because he could get Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. It was pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dude. He has five, right? Yeah. Okay. Plus power. Do we have... That's just a kill, right? Yeah. We do. Okay, I'm just checking to see if we had a Squirtle on field and we didn't. See, look, we, this is why we shouldn't doubt our friends, then. Squirtle and no friends is a true, good deck. True, true. It's just that Amy drew fucking crazy. There's War Turtle. See, when you believe in your friends, good things happen. Amy did draw gangbusters, that's She true. did. And literally any deck would have lost <laughs> to, to, to Amy and her fucking, like, insane Blastoise deck. Which I feel like we should do a deck check on her, because I don't feel like she was maybe not fighting with the most uh, fair deck, it felt like. Special punch on Nidoran, it's dead, goodbye. Nice poison types that instantly lose the fighting types. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have? Nothing. A set energy and pass. So sad. Seal. Seal. At this point we're just flexing. And I think it's it's safe to acknowledge that. Special punch. But yeah, that's why I always like the... It's a shame that there's nothing, like, for Hitmonlee. There's no equivalent of, like, Lightning Leg, Fire Leg, or Fire Kick, or something like that. At least not for a Ice while. Kick? Not in the first gen, at least, right? No, not in the first gen. All but I think, I think Hitmonlee's thing in the first gen was that he, uh, like, was stronger. Like, he had stronger moves. Yeah, because it's, uh... Like, it, high jump kick and stuff. Yeah, kicking someone hurts more than punching them. Because you train That's your true. legs more than you train your, um... Yeah, you kind of train your legs by default, because you have to walk around. Exactly. Way to go, y'all. That's two wins. One more point to go before winning the challenge club. Get out of here, idiot. Most Have a safe way. trip home. <laughs> and she sends him to the Shadow Realm right in front of us. <laughs> have a safe trip home, loser. Oh shit, it's Ronald. It's our rival. Oh my god, not Ronald. Hey, why? I'm not gonna lose to you. Hey, where were they playing if we're on the only arena on the stage? It's a good question. <laughs> I feel like the fix is in. Prepare my deck. I'm going to save because I refuse to live in a world where Ronald gets the Mewtwo. Yeah, so I refuse to let Ronald have level 60 Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't know why they keep specifying that, but... It has to let you know specifically this one's level 60. Ronald, the invincible Ronald deck? He's evolved from the It's Ronald deck. Yeah, it's no longer It's Ronald. Now he's invincible. I know. It's powerful. We got him on Chan, Squirtle. This would be the perfect hand if we had fucking Kangaskhan. <laughs> yes. Unfortunate that we don't. Yeah, very unfortunate. I think we have to go... We see. could throw on a Squirtle and start bubbling early. Do we want to... Let's see. Okay, you know what? I think we'll go with Squirtle. Put Seal and Himmochan in the back. We'll see what he's got. Okay. Please go first. Yes. Okay. Alright, what's he got out? Oh Geodude. Ooh, he's so dead. Aw, oh, damn it. No, he's weak to grass. Yeah. Damn you! I, didn't, I remember this bothered me about the Pokemon Train card game, too, where it's like, how? The, the weaknesses don't all match the games. <laughs> yes. There's some weird ones just because of the type like combination. 
Mm-hmm. Because, like, bug types count as grass types, which means that in the card game, dark types are weak to grass types. Ah, that, that's some shit right there. That's crazy to me. You should also be taking the bonus damage from our Hitmonchan over there, but he won't. Coward. Well, yeah, because rock types are just counted as fighting types in this game. Yeah. Sad. Zubat being grass type is pretty funny. Yeah, it is. How dare you? Well, let's see. Depending on this, we will probably... We don't have the right Pokemon. This one switches... Do we want to waste a color energy, or do we just pass? Because I feel like the right answer would be just to switch into Hitmonchan and just start beating on the Geodude. Probably, yeah. Just start throwing that with the Geodude. But yeah. it would require us losing double colorless. That's okay. I mean, I think there's a decent chance we just start sweeping with Geodude. Fair enough. Or with uh, Hitmonchan, as long as we start, like, winning. Alright, fair enough. Jab! Yeah, energy removal's fucking rough in this game, man. Oh damn it! <laughs> we lose- <laughs> we lose Hitmonchan. He tricked us. Because we can't do any damage to this Cypher now. His resistance. Oh, wait a minute! We can use Gust of Wind. So we can at least, um, kill Geodude before he can get a prize card. What do you think? I, I mean, like either it. way, we lose him on Jan. Because we can't retreat. Too high a cost. So we can just potentially start building someone else up, but I don't actually know... I don't know who the fuck we build up after this. It's kind of uh, concerning. What do you think? Uh... I mean, it makes more sense to invest in Squirtle because... Blastoise, but also Dugong is really good if we actually draw it. That's the thing. Is are we gonna draw it, you know? I'm gonna go and trust in Dugong, and then I'm going to gust of win and kill, and hope that Dugong was in one of the price cards. Or an energy card. I'll take either one, to be honest. Okay. I respect the move. Alright, down goes Geodude. Yes! Water energy! That's better than nothing! <laughs> Unfortunately, this Slash will 100% just rock us for a couple turns here. Unless we draw- Ooh, that's really good, but we don't have the Wolf Fire! God damn it. I think we're gonna have to try and put in Squirtle for stalling. Cause yeah, if we can somehow get more fighting, or we can draw Professor Oak, that'd be ideal. Um, this does nothing, but I just wanted to punch the Scyther. This, <laughs> this, this, one, this one card completely invalidates the other half of our deck. <laughs> it's the only card that can actually beat us, I think. That is legitimately like a hard counter to our deck. If we don't draw correctly. Because the... the um, we, we do agree that we're running it back if we lose though, right? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Oh, thank god. Get paralyzed. Um... Yeah, this is this one card actually just stops everything that we want to do. It's just an unfortunate circumstance. Oh my god, we need to talk about maybe removing Vaporeon. <laughs> it's been a dead draw every single time we've ever gotten it. Let's go there. Bubble. Well, I think we only run one Eevee also, which doesn't help. Yeah, that, that, that certainly doesn't help. But I don't think we have just a lot of options, to be fair. We need more cards. Yeah, we do. Drew water. Uh, how much do you need? You need two. God damn. Can Seal start attacking right away? He can. Okay. I'll put it on there, and I'm gonna again pray for the the potential hope of. Um, Dugong off- not Dugong off the top, because we actually need more water energy. We need Professor Oak. Yeah, that's really what we need. Yeah, that's- that's 100% what we need. Okay. One, two, three, four. This will at least make it so we can start fighting with Seal. Alright. That's fine. If we can't evolve, uh, Seal, then at least we can evolve into our final form. But we need more fighting energy in that case. Uh, 
At least I don't think Machamp takes double damage from. Oh, that's good. Come on, two good cards. Two good cards. Pokemon Trader and Professor Oak. Oh, that's insane! Oh my god, that's huge. Oh, super god. fucking huge. Yeah. Grab okay, right so there. I think we Pokemon Trader. Uh, we trade in Vaporeon and we get Dugong. Okay. Yes, Dugong. Dugong. I was so close to just Professor Oaking. There we go. Oh, and then seven new cards in hand. Basically a new game. Insanity. That's right, such a good card. It is, and now we're going to Pokeball just for the hell of it. Professor Oak is... Uh, uh, they changed the name of it to Professor's Research for all the other professors. They could change yeah. the art. That card is so good that it's still a staple today. Wow, yeah. Also, I just realized the reason that this Pokeball is a coin flip is because it lets us get any card in our deck. Yep. What do we want to get for this? Do we want to heal up Dugong? Because we have the energy. Unless we want to try yeah, and build I think up... That's, well, Pokeball lets you get a Pokemon card. It doesn't let us get a potion. No, it just says choose a Pokemon card. Yeah, a Pokemon card. A potion's not a Pokemon card. It's an item card. Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, I, technically, it is a Pokemon card. <laughs> technically, it's a Pokemon card, yes. Do we want to get a the... War Turtle, then? Yeah. I think it's a good bet. Yeah, okay. Then we will that way, if something happens, we have HP on the Squirtle. Yep, and this Aurora Beam is enough to kill Scyther. Out of here, fool. This game just got completely changed up. Probably should have looked to see if I could have evolved, but it's okay. This is unfortunate because that means our Dugong is dead next turn if he draws the right card. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll go War Turtle. Go here. Give Fighting Energy to Machamp. Oh, we can Energy Removal. Oh, this card's so good! <laughs> Energy removal? Yeah, it's crazy good, It dude. is crazy. And it's insane. Dugong! Hit him with another Aurora Beam, and that is it for him. Ronald, Invincible Ronald, more like clown-ass Ronald. Get out of our fucking face! Yeah, more like get fucked, Ronald. <laughs> exactly. Why don't you change your <laughs> your deck name to I'm Fucked Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so insane. I'd be so I'm hardcore tilted if I lost this way, by the way. So we're get, 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 getting Pokemon Breeder into basically having a full board of evolutions yeah, on the field. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Nasty goo. Not even. Get out of here. Your goo does nothing to Dugong. Dugong lives in water. There's no goo in water. I'm just gonna bill for the hell of it. Oh, so good. I mean, it doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> We can put um, a Fighting Energy on Machamp and one on Blastoise just for the hell of it, but he's dead. Oh, Rotobeam. This move is so insane. Three energy. It's I would never have imagined it <laughs> for back in the day, but it is. Ronald had lost without any saves coming. Let's go. We just have to believe in Squirtle and no friends. Congratulations, you defeated three opponents. Most unfortunate, Ronald. Do try again in the next Challenge Cup. That was luck, but a loss is a loss. I have to agree with him on this one. He did, in fact, 100% lose because we drew the best card if possible in that situation. I won't lose next time. The winner of this Challenge Cup is Y. Uh, why? Your prize is a level 16 Mewtwo. Yeah, cool art. I like that. Promotional. Majestic. Energy absorption. Choose up to two energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to Mewtwo. Cyburn. 40. That's not bad. Not very good. Not, not that good. You have to remember that this is a Pokemon that just goes onto the field. And this is HP 70. <laughs> and Dugong is as good as he is because it deals 50 damage on three energy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Again, yeah. in modern day, yes. But in terms of this card game, this that game is kind of insane. It's basically one energy gets you to full energy for your final move. Of course, if your opponent's already built up, then it doesn't really matter much, does it? But it's okay. It just simply won't happen. 
Do you think if we talk to the, if we go to the computer, the professor will tell us like, hey, hey, this thing look out for Ronald in this tournament. <laughs> yeah, watch out for him. All right, nothing here. Are you one of the dudes I have to fight? It's kind of coming to see if all my training has paid off. I'm going to win the Challenge Cup and become a Grandmaster. I'm good enough to compete in the Challenge Cup. Girls are just as good at Pokemon trading cards as boys. You tell them, lass. Hey now, it's a Challenge Cup. Hey now, gonna give it a try. Hey now, gotta beat three people. Hey now, watch me win the prize. Smash Bell? Is this you? I'm gonna lose to any Whippersnapper. I'm gonna win this Challenge Cup. It's over, it's man. Over, I, man. Won. I won it. Just, I have the prize right here. That's me. That's 30-year-old me going to tournaments still <laughs> to fight an age. <laughs> <laughs> you damn whippersnappers ain't gonna get it on me. I'm I was gonna thinking win. about getting a getting a physical deck, but then I was like, am I really gonna go to like a card shop and play 12-year-olds? <laughs> oh, it's fun. There's there's more than just 12-year-olds in there, but yes, you will have to fight 12-year-olds. <laughs> And those 12-year-olds will likely rock you. I think that's the thing that you are most afraid of. Probably. Let's see, where do we go next? Let's see, we've beaten the... Water we've Club. Fire, water, and... We can just fighting? It. Maybe? No, fighting we need... You can check it, yeah, you can check it, the, the status. We've rock. beaten fire, ground, water... Fire, so can... water, and, and rock, yeah. Can we build any other decks? Let me take a quick look at what we could. I mean, we can make our own. Here. That's what I mean. We have a shit. Wait, go back to the grass. We have a ton of Bulbasaurs. Yeah, we just don't have any Venusaur. Oh wait, we could go. Wait, how good is Butterfree? Let's look at Butterfree. Is Butterfree any good? Whirlwind, Mega Drain. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, you want to build a Caterpie deck then? I just mean, look at how many copies we have. We have and then two. We, could go we, have to, to, we actually have the perfect ratio. We have four cat. Yeah, we have a, a solid ratio of Caterpie to Butterfree. Like Butterfree is not that strong, but like if we can get to it, um, yeah, we can pretty much rock a, a gym that's weak to grass. We can totally do that. Okay. Wait, what does Stiffen do? Does that make us like immune to damage? Flip a coin, defense, oh, prevent flip all a coin. damage. Yeah. Yeah. Stunner. It's really just go to Butterfree and, and win. Pretty much. Because Mega Drain would do what eighty, and yeah. heal. So we'd heal forty if we hit a super. Okay, well, what what gyms are left that this would be good against is probably an important question before we start doing this. Okay, let's cancel. Because we're gonna build this whole thing, guys. We don't need it. Um, status. Fire, water, ground. What could potentially the Psychic Club? No, right? That's no, the opposite. Psychic is weak to Psychic. Science, yeah. Fire. Psychic is weak to Psychic. Science is weak to Psychic. Fighting is weak to Psychic. Maybe we should just make a fucking Psychic deck. Uh, lightning like... is weak to Fighting. I think we should try building a Psychic deck. Yeah, I feel like we probably should too. Okay. Let's go back in here. We do have level 60 Mewtwo. <laughs> we do! And if anything, if we run into Ronald, I want to flex on him again. Um, oh, yeah, so what do we have psychic-wise? Okay, we have Abra. A Dabra. decent ratio of Abras to Kadabras to Alakazams. We could, I yeah. would not mind another Alakazam, but that's pretty good. Yeah, do we want to go this way? Four, two, one? Nah, three, maybe. Because I think Abra three. itself sucks, I'm pretty sure. Psy Shock? Yeah. Flip a coin of oh, heads of the Pokemon. That's the same as Squirtle. It's Squirtle. Yeah, but it's also HP 30. That's the problem. But that's oh, the part where it, that's God, the reason why it sucks. Yeah. And Kadabra, I think, is actually kind of decent, right? Yeah, Kadabra's good. Yeah, Kadabra can heal. Yeah, look at that. That's basically Dugong. Yeah. So Kadabra is Dugong, and what's Alakazam? Mm, Alakazam is Confuse Ray, and also Damage Swap, where if it's damage, we can just give it to someone else. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That actually Did might make Gengar? a good case for uh, Snorlax being in the deck, actually. Oh, yeah, just as, like, a body? Yeah. I think we could do a core of Abra and Gengar. We couldn't do Because I think we have a Gengar. We do have yeah. a Gengar. We, we have, have two Gengars. We have the Sonic... <laughs> the Sonic-looking Gengar. Yeah, yeah, the Sonic 3D Blast Gengar. All right. We're going to go... Oh, we only have one Ga... Oh, never mind. No, we have a shitload of the other Ghastly. We just have one so of that kind of Ghastly. Lick, flip coin, 50... 50. I think yeah, we should we should run the one copy of that ghastly that we have, and then two of the other one, yeah. Yeah. Because that other ghastly is way better. 
Oh yeah, and it has Destiny Bond, which is hilarious. I don't think it'll ever work out that way, but we can do that. Probably not, no. Um, okay. And then, okay, so we have our main line of offense. We could put in the Mewtwo. I actually think the Mewtwo's kind of good. Because yeah. you can put it into play, and then you can get, like, when one of our Pokemon dies, you can put the Mewtwo in and then pull the energy that that Pokemon had onto the Mewtwo. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I actually think that Mewtwo's pretty good. How do you feel about um, starter deck Mewtwo over here? <laughs> Maybe not. No, I think now that we have our Psychic, like, core cards, we should go into our colorless ones, like Kangaskhan and Snorlax, and see if that's something that we want. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we can at least do one. A pocket Mew. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, now I think we go to, like, Kangaskhan and Snorlax and stuff and see what we want to put in from that. Okay. We'll go into the colorless. Now, I think because of the um, the energy stuff with Alakazam, we could actually probably make a case for Chansey. And Snorlax. That's a shitload of yeah. Chansey's really good. God damn. Yeah. It is basically a one-stop kill if you get to double edge. And the same thing kind of goes for... Do we have another spare Kangaskhan? We do not have any spare Kangaskhan. No. So we'll probably go Chansey and a Snorlax. And then we do have spare um, Double Colorless, I think. So we can probably go two. Then we can look and yeah. see if there's any more that we would want. Mm, we have Dratini. Why does Kangaskhan say zero out of zero? Because we don't have any to put in the deck. Basically, it takes into account how much are in the other decks. Oh, yeah. damn, that sucks. It's just like real life. It's so realistic, though. But in real life, if you're only going to use one deck, you can take a card out of the other one and put it in this one. Um, they use different sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. Sorry to say. Eradicate. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's it for the co colors as far as I can. Unless we want to try and also run Lick Lickitung as well. For potential stalling. I think that's not a bad idea. Lickitung's really good. And just it's also to, high to buy HP. time. High HP, really good to buy time. Only takes one energy to be obnoxious. Yeah. Pretty pretty good, I think. Now what is So now I think we go to mm -hmm. to trainer and energy cards from here. Okay. You think fourteen is enough for psychics? Okay. We might have to take the other deck apart, dude. We can't go without Professor Oak. And Pokemon <laughs> Trader and Pokemon Breeder. We might have to abandon Squirtle for a while. Alright, alright. Me... Or even if not abandon it, at least um Oh my god, okay, well, let's, let's just fill this up. Yeah, we'll fill it up, we'll fill it up for now, but we can at least go Bill. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bill, uh... Mr. Fuji's an old man, so that'll be our stand-in for Professor Oak. Okay. I don't think this deck um, needs I think Pokemon that... Trader, so... Um, we I don't know, I kind of use... like Pokemon Trader because we're rocking two Final Form Evolution Pokemon. That's fair. We'll just look at the other one for things to re replace. Um... Not retrieval. Removal is good. Actually, do we need retrieval? No. No. no uh, search trades. is good though. Yeah. Yeah. Search. Switch. And we want to switch for sure. Yeah. I think we have another switch. Uh, do definitely, I'm gonna want those pokeballs. Uh, we don't have any left to put yeah, in, but yeah, we'll we should. Too. Um, we definitely plus still power. Go yeah. yeah plus yes. Power. Definitely plus power. Uh, hmm. A gust of wind. That goes kind of good. A potion's good. We typically don't go too heavy on the super potions. Okay, we currently got 27. How many energy cards would you typically need for a pure psychic in a, deck? In a game where you can search a shitload of energy, not very many. Like, I think, I mean, a meta deck nowadays, like, having 13 is a lot. Um, but in a game where you can't really search, yeah. probably a decent amount, maybe like 10 or 12. Yeah, 12 works here. Mm, okay, for now we're going to have to do some... Mysterious fossils. Just some stellar. Just to, get the, yeah, just to yeah. get the 60. Stuff that is very obvious that we are not actually running. Lippy Dykes. Uh, finder. We'll go... Here, yeah, four copies of Charmander, two Charmeleon. Yeah, just fill it up with cards that aren't psychic, because we know that we're not going to use them. So. Exactly. Alright, save the deck. And this can be... What do we want to call our psychic deck? Mewtwo and no friend. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> level 60 Mewtwo. Obviously. Oh, yeah, that's a good name. Level... Is there a face? There is level... 60. 
You. Sure. Level 60M. We'll go with that for now. We'll change the name yeah. after we finish dealing with the modifications here. Okay. I think we might want to look into some more, based off of this deck, we might want to look into more Pokemon, <laughs> but maybe this deck isn't the greatest when it comes to Pokemon there. So we can get rid of a, a Professor Oak, we can get rid of a Bill. Um, you want to get rid I of mean, both just, Trader and Breeder? just do the same Breeder? thing, like take out the ones that we know we want to use. Like, yeah, I would take Trader and Breeder, and then just fill the deck up with like Grass Pokemon, just so we know the ones that we're going to swap back and yeah. forth between. Take the Pokeballs, I take would take the, the, yeah, take the Scoop up. Mm. I would take the Gust of Wind... Oh wait, we already have one in the other yeah, deck, I forgot we already have one. Yeah. We already won one potion, so that should be fine. Uh, okay, and then we'll fill this up with... Yeah. And we can look at maybe a, like a couple other... Because I think with two full evolution lines like that, it would be better to use non-evolving Pokémon, like, you know, Kangaskhan, Khan, Chansey, and all them. So yeah. if we have Psychic equivalents of that, we can throw in. Like, isn't there a Mr. Mime that's actually pretty good? And there might be. So let's check here. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of all that. And then we can get rid of those filler um, trainer cards, like the fossils and stuff. Uh, get rid of Mr. Fuji, because he's an old man. Get rid of these. I think it was... It's Pokemon Centers. Pokemon Centers, we can get rid of that. Pokedexes. Get rid of Finders. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, let's check Psychic Pokemon first once we put the rest of our stuff in, because I think we have to add the Trader and the Breeder yeah, and we stuff. Have to yeah, add the Trader Breeder. Yeah. The Pokeballs as well, I think. Uh, did I forget to put in there? I did forget to put in there. Okay, we'll go there. We'll look here. Let's see. We have Mew, Mewtwo. We have Jinx. We have Mr. Mime. Whenever a Pokemon attacks, does 30 or more damage to Mr. Mime, it doesn't do anything. This guy stalled us out for the longest time. Yes, it did. So definitely, and then Meditate does 10 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on the defending Pokemon. So it increases every time you use it. Yes. That's pretty good. I, I like him. Let's put him in. We can put in Mime. What about uh, Jinx? What Jinx? Double do? Slap. So that caps at 20. Mm -hmm. But for one, I mean, that could be worse. 20 plus, yes. and then it has meditate. Oh, but that's three costs. That's know. three. Yeah. That's easy. A, that's a heavy cost. Do we want to potentially slam in one of these side types? Similar to how we do for fighting, where we don't use any of the evolution lines. We just lose. check to see the ones that are, like, fully the evolved. The only problem is that means we have to super increase the amount of energy that we put in. I don't know if we even have that much to spare on the side, to be honest. Um, Flareon, Magmar, mm, Poison, Arcanine, Ninetales, Charmander, Charmeleon, Golden Whirl. I don't think there's a single one in here. Yeah, because we use them all. Maybe for Lightning types? No, not, not besides Zapdos. I like the buzz. You know, it's too, it's too generic to acquire. Mm. I mean, do we want to take out the Kangaskhans and put them in here? Yeah, I think so. I think we do. Okay. Kangaskhan's just so good if you don't draw well in the beginning, you know? It's true. That's why we use it in the other deck. <laughs> it's, it's why it saved us almost every single time it's ever shown up. Uh, save. Alright. Take out our friends in here. Yep, the Kangaskhan. Uh, we can technically go in Eevee line because the evolution of Eevee, but to be fair, I've also talked about removing the Eevee, so maybe yeah, actually not. I don't know that I don't know that Eevee is the way. Yeah. I don't know why it took Maybe out we just stick with colorless Pokemon like uh what does Dodrio do? Doesn't Dodrio have like an ability? Retreat aid. As long as Odria is benched, pay one less to retreat your active Pokemon. That's see, that's not bad. That's like a decent one we could just include yeah. to have. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I removed Eevee from here. I need to return Eevee. There we go. We probably want some more energy cards too. If this deck runs 25, we only run 14. We probably want more. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, we might need to look into a little bit more. Okay. Um. I got all those Pidgeys and Rattatas and shit. Renegade, Spiritle, Fertile, Jigglypoofs. Yeah, we can put in two, one. Yeah, that's fine. Two Kangaskhans. Then we can look into some more energy. Basically, yeah, more maybe put energy. in. Yeah, I mean, why not just use psychic energy? Up until the cap, even. 
Because that'll put us at about 25, yeah. Yeah. Unless let's we want to go it. one more double colorless. Yeah, that probably sounds good. Let's do that. Alright. Alright, we can try this out then. We've got We could our... even maybe go four double colorless and drop one more psychic, because why not? I mean, that's the cap, and we have a lot of colorless. That's true. Okay. There you go. Okay, we can save this. We can change the name real quick and finally finish out Mewtwo. You. For some reason, that did not look like an. <laughs> that all like blanked out. I like. <laughs> it's like a fish in. It's all right, just... I like this. Let's try the fighting. The fighting group. Yeah, we have to find the other guys in the fighting group real quick. So I remember it is that he's kind of annoying for that. We have I to... think that's that guy right there. Yeah. There's one of them, with but the, I think we've already the... dueled him because we beat. Oh, did we beat him already? So we have to go to the other ones real quick. Let's see if we find him. Don't see him here. Go here. Now, obviously, he wouldn't be in the fighting club, so I don't know why he went in here. Are you um, sure we haven't beaten them all yet? I thought we did. We might have, but to be honest, I don't fully remember because it's been uh, at least two weeks since we last record uh, recorded, we last streamed it. So let me just quickly do a check. Is that one right there? I think it is actually. This might be the last one. All the members of this club are girls. Uh, but I can't be girls who are this tough, huh? You must be why. Mitch told me all about you. Beating you will be better than losing to the girls. Would you like to duel Michael in his raging <laughs> misogyny? His raging misogyny deck. He's currently going through his Ken moment. <laughs> he's, he's, he's... Oh, don't make him look like Brock. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's squeed up Michael. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Chansey, Abra... <laughs> Chansey and Abra... Okay, I guess we start with Chansey, because Abra just instantly gets smoked, and we have Switch, so that should be fine. Yeah, this is good, and then let's just build up... I think we honestly maybe just start building up Chansey first. Yeah. Because Chansey's actually good. Yeah. Ooh, oh got... my god, and we got a double colorless for it. That yeah. bangs, dude. Can we get Search Kadabra? out Kadabra. Fuck. Scrunch. So close. Hey. Scrunched as hell. Nice hit, Mon Lee. You weren't going to be able to damage us. Nice hit, Mon Lee, idiot. Yes. Finish the turn without attacking. All right. Yeah. yeah now we have to put up, uh, Yeah. Come on, heads again, baby. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, it's okay. It, it dies next turn. <laughs> <laughs> you die now. Uh, oh. that's not good. <laughs> oh no. Well, average. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna kill him on Lee right here. Yeah. It's okay. There we go. And then we'll hopefully get another playable Pokemon. <laughs> Otherwise, his Chansey is uh, going two for two. Oh, God. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not, because if he gets an energy. He didn't get one. Oh. Do we oh, want to stall? <laughs> Well, no, the problem is if we try to stall, uh, if Hitmonchan uses Jab, we die, because it's, it's super effective against right. Chansey. But any... does he have anything in his play area that just instantly kills us? Magmar probably does. If he gets another fire energy. Honestly, he just Maybe we us. do try to stall. Yeah, maybe we I think we to have stall. to stall. Think... Oh, you didn't use the move! Oh, well, I'm stupid. But it's okay, because <laughs> oh, I God. never punish. Rewarded. <laughs> never punish. <laughs> Rewarded for our stupidity. Uh, recover, discard one energy card, okay. Easy. Do we actually just want to switch out into Kadabra and after stalling? And just keep Chansey around Maybe for... we... Yeah, because... Well, wait, no, because Kadabra's got to attack, so yeah. Okay. Assuming that we get energy on Kadabra next turn. Oh, no! Yeah. Well, it's fine. I think we're, we'll be fine. We have, we okay. have energy to spare. Okay. All right, the only thing bad here is that he gets a prize energy, but it's okay, because we have Lickitung in the back. As I planned it, I don't think he can kill Kadabra this single turn. Not especially with uh, him on Chan. He can deal 20, which is going to suck, but we should be fine overall. And our attack will kill it. Yeah. Another Abra, okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's weak to Psychic, so it'll do double damage. Okay. So I'm going to put Lickitung... I'm gonna put Abra. I'm gonna put. We need to put an energy on Kadabra to attack. Mm, yeah, 
we do. Okay. Psy. Super Psy. Damn! Dealing 100 feels pretty nice. Uh -huh. Psychic energy. Okay. He can't kill us, and we win next turn. Easy. Easy sweep. Absolutely destroyed. The only thing we didn't see was the Hitmonlee kick. <laughs> that was the only thing that was like... Yes, that oh. was almost really bad. But yeah, it that was out. potentially very, very bad. And of course, a potion just to really drive home <laughs> how bad everything was. I'm telling you, Chansey is really insane. Shh, I lost. I'll go back yeah, to my club and train. Yeah, super good. Yeah. Boost, before I go, since it's the rules, take this. It's the rules that if you lose, you have to give up a booster pack. I would just simply stop playing the game. I'm a collector now. <laughs> Abra points off, fighting energy. Okay. Another Coliseum pack. Ooh, Raichu. Thunder. Flip cut. If Tails <laughs> does 30 damage to yourself, bitchin'. We have another Kadabra. Pichu, Renatana. Cool. See ya! Okay, I think we are good to challenge the, the gym now. Alright, do we want to make any chances now that we have another Kadabra? Or do we want to keep it rocket the way it, it is? It might not be a bad idea to put another Kadabra in, because 100 damage is a lot, man. It is. Okay. Uh, but that would mean we would potentially run another Abra to offset the double Kadabra. Actually, no. I think we'll keep it as is. I think... Okay. That's fine. Yeah. We'll see. We'll go for one more. I just realized we have to fight all those dudes again. Because now they're returning to the gym. So we had... The, the fighting them beforehand did nothing. I fought them for no reason. I forget. I have to keep remembering the check. I keep forgetting. Alright, there we go. Uh, the other guy's in the rock gym. Go here. Yeah, he is. Alright, there he is. I already beat you once. Now I got drink. I'm training here at the rock club, but Mitch told me to defeat you before you can duel the members here. Would you like to duel Chris? Yes. I like how he said that you have to beat me before you can fight the others in this gym when I've already beaten this gym. Fighting club member Chris Mus <laughs> Muscles for Brains deck. <laughs> I like these dudes. They know what they want. Uh, Chansey, Ghastly. Does Ghastly have a... Yes. I'm going with Ghastly first. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. I think that's a solid idea. Yeah. Uh, it's funny... Because Ghastly resists fighting, right? Yeah, he does. And we also have Haunter. And we've got Haunter in hand. Let's go. And we have Pokemon Trader if we want to trade in that Gengar. We can Kadabra. toss the Kadabra and get the Gengar. Yeah. Banger. Yeah. Banger plan. It is, 100%. Fuck. I'm down for it. Chris... Of course Chris you're using fucker. Tauros. You're such a little... <laughs> you're so... You're you're just, like, not fun. I want you to know cringe. that, Chris. You're so cringe, but little good you're for us. You're so cringe. All right. So, uh, we're doing this because we can actually build up the combo. Um, of Yeah, uh, that's, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, all right. Use it though. Don't don't hit done. Don't hit done. <laughs> oh no no! I, I I we couldn't evolve the ghastly yet. I don't think. No, I know. I meant scrunch. I meant don't yeah. forget to use it again. Even though I'm like pretty sure that there's no way for him to. You oh, bastard, bitch. You fucker. You're absolute. You're an absolute piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna have to psychic energy on Chansey. No no no. But then we don't have any psychic energy to use. Hmm? For, for no, Hunter. but uh, Gengar's effect. He can move the damage counters. So we can do level 80 on Chansey and then just keep doing it and give it to our other Pokemon. Alright. Right? Am I thinking that right? I, I Maybe? I thought that was Alakazam that did that. I'm pretty sure it's both of them that do that. That's, a, that's what our entire deck is built around, is uh, putting away the... The energies. Unfortunately, that this thing's also going to deal some decent damage to us. But in general, we have to build up Chansey because there's no way for us to. Um... Okay, you know what? I'm going to Pokemon Trader. We're going to look and see which one is which because we can definitely trade in this Ghastly. 
Okay. Check. Damage Swamp, as often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another as long as you don't knock out that Pokemon. Okay. And then we look at Gengar. And Gengar's is, once during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another, even if it would knock out... Once yeah, Gengar move... moves their damage. Alakazam um... moves our damage. Hmm. Okay, then. Well... We're now doing a Pokemon Trader. Do we want to potentially go for another Pokemon? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to build up. It might Actually, not. We can check to see how many is there. Does Mewtwo anywhere? get any energy or only psychic energy? Our double colors are definitely still in the deck. That's good. Say it again. Does Mewtwo get any energy or only psychic energy from the graveyard? Uh, that's a good question. Mewtwo is up. He's like right in the middle. There he is. Choose up to two energy cards from Maybe, the Maybe, actually I don't think it matters though, because he uses, oh no he does use that. Maybe we put Mewtwo down. Because that way if Chansey dies, we can just slap a Psychic on Mewtwo, pull that double colorless back from the grave. Yeah, but he didn't, then he's dealing 10 damage. The, the Tauros is immune to Psychic. Or resistance. Really? Yeah, that's why I switched. Oh, what an asshole. Yeah. That's why I was like, I'm looking and trying to see what can we do. Ah, uh, fuck. We could always go Dodrio. That doesn't um, really... It doesn't do that much damage. That, that that also depends on how much damage he's on him. Mm, Kangaskhan's our best bet, but also it takes so long to get there. Yeah, not it's great. Alakazam. Maybe Alakazam, not Alakazam, but maybe... But Skingar is actual main move. Actually, no, it would deal nothing, because it deals 30, I think. Yeah, Dark Mind. I, again, I think our best bet is likely trying to pivot into the Alakazam idea. The problem is, is that we don't have Abra. So we would have to try and attempt to draw Abra. Or wait for Pokemon Breeder or something like that. Well, Pokemon Breeder doesn't get us Abra even. All it does is let us evolve Abra into Alakazam without using Kadabra. Pocket Kangaskhan, then? I think, I think so, yeah. I think Kangaskhan is gonna have to be what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. Just in case we don't draw the, um... The additional energy needed. We need at least two on... Chansey to Yeah, stall. I think we're just gonna have to scrunch spam for a while. Alright, let's go. Everyone's favorite game, stall. As we see Chris. This is all Chris's fault for playing the stupid Tauros. And it's about- why are you still attacking? You're not gonna do anything. Yeah. <laughs> that was a waste of an attack. And we drew the Alakazam regardless, so... Yeah, see, Resistance is... Literally, likely the only card in his entire deck that has a Resistance to... to Psychic types. Alright. Um, stomp. That's 30 damage, I think. Yep. Well, <laughs> we have Snorlax to potentially uh, stall even longer. But this one Tauros, for whatever reason, he drew it perfectly and that completely destroys all our game plan. <laughs> and of course, not drawing anything. But it's okay, we scrunch up. He can't hurt us, not if we're scrunching. Whatever, do whatever, all your double damage check that you want. We're scrunched as hell right now, bro. Exactly. We have Mewtwo. Boy, we are drawing matter. shit right now. At this point, I would be we okay. We are so scrunched right now. We're, we've never been more scrunched than we have been right now. We, be we believe in the scrunch plan. Nice heads, loser. Yeah, exactly. Be oh like God. us and be sick. There are no evolving Pokemon. Ain't got nothing. Scrunched! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate stall for time, ah, Pokemon. Ah. We are so fucking scrunched, bro. The, my best part here is that he also isn't drawing any energy. He's also oh on my God. his own... We have, like, over a quarter of our... Oh my God, we scrunched again. <laughs> over scrunched. a quarter of our deck is energy, and we're not drawing any of it. 
It's, we got, we're gone so hard into the scrunch that he, the AI is now thinking of what to do next. Because he's not sure how he's going to beat this. Oh my god, we drew a psychic. We have to give it to Kangaskhan, right? Yeah. Yep. Alright, scrunch it up, baby. Damn. Oh, fuck. The scrunch failed us. But it's okay. <laughs> we just need to make sure that we... Double we fuck. Yeah, with this next scrunch is going to be key. It's going to be the thing that brings us all home. A suicide plan, Zen! I like it. I like suicide. it. Suicide. Suicide into Kangaskhan. Boom! <laughs> this is still so long! <laughs> oh my god, I'd be so pissed! <laughs> oh, and Mr. Mime's oh pretty good, too. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, now he's screwed, I think. Well, I put, I put it out there before. I wanted to check to see how many moves he had, but, but now I don't think he... Actually, that him only can beat us. Uh... He's, yeah, uh, he's resistant to fighting. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, uh, but we have no energy to power anything up with. Uh, we have a fat load of nothing right now. Oh, but funny enough, if we can get a single psychic energy, our level 16 Mewtwo can get stuff done. We pass. The, the only good thing is that he can he can only barely hurt us with special punch. It deals 10 damage. And then we just have to draw a psychic energy. That works too. Alright. Shit. I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. And now we stall for time. Hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Go point to sleep. check. Sleep check. Damn. Sleepy. Oh, bros. Go to sleep. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Do you think at this point this guy just gives up? He's like, I am so fucking tired of this. <laughs> oh, nice, nice nap. Nice, nice nap, nap, bro. Loser. Nice. Failure. Energy, Energy search. search. Yes. Now we can start attacking with Gengar with a hit a haunter, right? Yes, we can. Because he's asleep, and that means that we also eat from his dreams. That's a hundred. Are we baby. healing off this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dream Eater he uh, heals in the game, and I'm pretty sure this move does nothing if the Pokemon is not asleep. Oh, God it did not heal. Ah, huh. oh, damn it. Mewtwo might not resist Psychic, though. Or, not Mewtwo, Meowth. <laughs> it's a good check. He pre-shouldn't. Yeah, he he does. Oh, my God. But it does 50 still, so we can put him to sleep and yeah. still do 20 at a time. It's a strong enough move. It's strong, yeah, it's a strong attack. <laughs> we never put <laughs> the one Didn't on Didn't put the Doduo do down. No. no. I forgot to. We can give this to Mewtwo for our backup plan. But for now, go to bed, Mew Meowth. It's his haunter. Take a nap. Yeah, take a sweet little nap, friend. Don't you wake up. Yes. <laughs> we... Sleep. <laughs> the alternate name for this deck should be... Don't you wake up. Oh, fuck. I think Dream Eater does nothing if the Pokemon is not asleep, but let me double Correct. check that. Yeah, we can't use unless it's uh, their sleep. Uh... I don't hate the idea of just... Uh, Professor Oaking right now for some energy cards. I know, but we I really don't want to get rid of Alakazam. And we All have right, fair um, enough. Kadabra as well. Do we even have an Abra on the board? No, I don't think we do. And we also have Switch. So you know what? We're in a good place. Go to sleep. This guy's gonna show up at his gym leader and he's like, you won't believe the bullshit that I have. I like, he stalled me for like multiple turns. <laughs> I couldn't do shit, man. It was so frustrating. I had to do a sleep check. There was so many heads and tails everywhere. Oh, there's the Mewtwo Gengar, but I don't think we can use him yet. Now we need energy. <laughs> That's okay. Dream meter. Yum. Yeah, buddy. If we get a plus power, we can... Oh, god damn it. We plus do have a plus power in our hand. All right, But we he can... has to be asleep, so... Yeah. Please evolve it right now. Payday. No payday for you. Hey, nice damage. It's gone. <laughs> Would be a shame if that damage was gone. Now go to sleep. <laughs> go back to bed now. Woo! Back to sleep. Sleep check. Damn it. Damn it. You should stay asleep, meow. What you got to be waking up for? Alright, at least he's not drawing cards. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe we gust of wind one of the fighting types up. 
I think we can't. I think we save him from that because he is so close to death. We just need to hypnosis him. Just because we're so close at this point. Yeah. That's fair. There's no way he can get heads again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, at some point, we just need to get tails one more time. Yeah, one more tails, and this thing is dead. And he's probably thinking he'll be fine. No, come on, tails, tails. God damn it. Damn it. I know. Hey, we drew Apple. Okay, there we go. Well, at least we have him now. Um, and we can make it so that Haunter just never dies now. Yeah, we once we get uh, Alakazam up, we can just uh... start moving stuff around, and this Haunter never dies. Oh my God! He gets his, he gets to deal ten damage to us and potentially draw a card. You know, if we draw a Psychic, we can just evolve into Gengar and then Gust of Wind. Do we have one prize card to go, or how many? We have two to uh, go. Two. Mm. Okay. Um, Nox and there's Kadabra. I still think we should enable Gengar. What does Darkmind do? We can kill Meowth that way! Oh yeah, cause oh, wait, so, so okay. This turn, uh huh. All right, here's the plan. This turn, you're gonna go to Gengar. You're gonna attack, and it's gonna do ten damage to Meowth. Uh huh. No, he's not. You're gonna plus power oh, it. Plus power, yes. So it does twenty. Yes. Then you're gonna gust of wind the Meowth out next turn to some to one of the Hitmonlees, which will die in one hit, and then Gengar's attack will also knock out Meowth. We'll get both. Okay. And that we'll get two good. prizes in one turn. That sounds like a plan. Uh, and then we can also manipulate the power as well. That's right. Oh my god. So We don't even need to, but we could. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the Hitmonlees. Yeah, just one of the Hitmonlees, I guess, just in case he heals. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh no, so, that only yeah, did 10. Why did that no, only did 10? No, well, because it's 30 resistance, remember? You're thinking oh, of right. oh, you're thinking of current modern yeah, day, yeah, yeah. but no, that that well, actually that, this might still be okay. Yeah, because we can just because... move one of the damage counters to Meow. Yeah, yeah. Off the one that we just put on the Hitmonlee, we can put on the Meow. Yeah, literally, this is it. The, the game is over. We've won. Um, now here's the power. How do I activate the power? I think there's a button in Pokemon Power. There we go. Yep. We move one of the ones from Hitmonlee because this does thirty. Yeah, this will kill him. Instantly. Yeah, put it on Meowth. Yeah. Then gust the Hitmonlee up. Doesn't matter which one. I just want to do it because he was prepared for the next attack. Yeah, um, and then uh, Dark Mind this fucker and it's game over. Yeah, and then we Alexam for the fun of it. For then the BM. We, yeah, for the ultimate BM. Then we Professor Oak our entire hand. <laughs> See what would have been. <laughs> nah, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, we've accidentally created a, a very angry and mean stall deck with Gengar and Alakazam. Yeah, this is kind of sick, actually. I like this. They kind of play off each other. Yeah, they do. Decision. All, all our normal types, even if they don't get to do much damage, they just stall for so long. Like, that Chansey was alive for just so long. It was so hard to kill. And then suicided for the W. <laughs> it did. That was the best part. How could this be? I'm the one who was defeated? That's right, give me the evolution pack, fool. Ooh, Flareon. <laughs> Raveler in the sickest pose, like mid sickest uh, bike stunt. Cubone. Oh, this is the sad uh, Cubone art, too. Yeah. He's looking wistfully like crying. To the sky. You say you'd always be there, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got another Blastoise, another Haunter. Oh, we finally got Golem. <laughs> Look at him just rolling. <laughs> if we ever wanted to make a self-destruct deck. Uh, deals damage to each Pokemon on each player's benches, because just fuck it. Then Golem deals 100 damage to itself when its HP is uh, 80. So it's dead. But yeah, second Blastoise is pretty nice. I must return to the Fighting Club to start my training over. Damn. All right, then we gotta go find the other guy. Then there's we should still more. Yeah, there's three. 
we we fought we fought two of them beforehand, but uh, what happened was is that I forgot that we had to basically talk to the gym leader first. To... Oh, so it didn't matter. Yeah, I think that might be the last one right there. I'm burning a Pokemon fever today. One day I'm gonna inherit. Okay, no, he just looked like nope, he was. Nope, he just dresses fever. like one. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was. What a an asshole. Fever. Maybe the science club? No. Only nerds at the science club. Yeah, no self-respecting karate man would go to the science club. It's true. Grass. Is that where we just were? Yeah, that was the guy. That was the guy who was like, "I hate losing to girls." <laughs> Women, am I right? The lightning one, maybe. Lightning might be the right answer here. But just to check. Because I think we checked this one too. Uh, lightning. Or the rock club if he's a jerk. He might be at the rock. Going club. for the easy, the easy W. Yeah, imagine fighting someone with your specific weakness in mind. <laughs> Couldn't be us. Are you him? No, you're just some guy named Matthew. What? Are you afraid of me? Yes. I think he's a rock guy, not a no, fighting he, guy. No, he would, he would mention it if he wanted. Yeah, he might be a rock guy. Which hmm. one have we not been to yet? Fire? I could have sworn I beat them all already. Maybe Psychic Club? No. Uh... I think Fire's the only one we haven't checked. Might be Fire. No, this that, guy. This no, guy that's the guy like who's not burning. Yeah. yeah okay, maybe just... we got them all. Maybe we had one the whole time and just didn't realize it. All right, let's go here. I could have swore there were three. Maybe if we talk to the other ones here, they'll tell us like, hey, they were here. Oh, oh my God, guy. it's him. Yeah, we have to talk to him. Grandmaster Steve is my favorite. Give away your almost No. Okay, I understand, but you should change your mind. Come see me. If you ever want to just give away your Amistar, please talk to me. <laughs> like, I need to know... That's not how trading works, my guy. We have yeah, to... Yeah, there's, there's, there's an exchange here. Yes. Huh? Who are you? Who? Me? You don't know who I am. I'm the super musical star, Imakuni. I'll sing the poker rap, you dance. la dee dee la la dee da la dee da that does, not, that does not sound like the poker rap. la dee da la dee da Hey, move those feet. What cards? You want to duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance. Sure. Okay, a one-match duel with six prizes, whatever that means. Oh my god, this guy. And then he has, like, the troll deck that's not very good, I think. So if we lose to yeah, him, it's, it's like the ass slowpoke deck. Yeah. Abra, Mr. Mime, Pokemon Breeder. We can technically go straight into Alakazam. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, we can build him in the background. We can take Mr. Mime out in the front to stall. Because Abra be very weak to any form of damage. Six prizes. Okay. One to coin toss. Ghastly. Psyduck. Uh oh. Okay. Not, not. I don't think anything we have to worry about, right? Well, he can hurt us because his attack is too weak. It's true, but we don't. <laughs> we're only here for a bit, Sen. <laughs> we're only here until Pokemon Breeder kicks in and we have an Alakazam. And then he just loses, I think, on the spot. Your active Pokemon is now confused. Oh yeah, the card that destroys his own cards for some reason. Yeah. He's a big fan. I don't know what that did either. <laughs> I have no idea what his cards do. Uh, opponent can't play trainer cards. Oh my god, we can't play the Pokemon Breeder. <laughs> this you son of a bitch. Should we energy removal him? We can't, it's a trainer card. Oh god damn it. Oh my god, he's gonna spam this. No, he's not. He's gonna Fury Swipe us. And he does damage to himself. He might actually lose before we ever summon Alakazam. <laughs> you okay, Lucifer? He doesn't like me playing Pokemon. Well, tell that cat that he needs to get over himself. <laughs> Conditions for evolving to stage 2. Oh no, it's control. Pokemon Trader that does that, not Breeder. Pokemon, put a stage 2 Pokemon from your hand. Aw, oh, damn it, we need him. That's okay. the one that skips the middle stage. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. Then we can just put it on Mr. Mime. And we can... Again, I'm pretty positive this guy kills himself. <laughs> and if we, um... Okay, we win. You know? I wish every game was this easy sometimes. 
Uh, yeah, deal like 40 and 50 and lose. 50? Yeah. Yeah. There's Haunter. You <laughs> six card game still loses. What I appreciate about this game is that they build their decks as similar to someone that you would find in the playground where they're just unable to play most. <laughs> they either get energy screwed or yeah. they get Pokemon screwed. The vast majority of their cards are useless. <laughs> yep. Hey, you're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack. So don't tell anyone I lost, okay? Coliseum. Scoop up, Nidorino, Kadabra, Defender, Jigglypuff. Okay. And another one. Clefairy Doll! It's basically just another stall card. Yep. Ivysaur, Pokemon Flu. We have so many Ivysaurs and Bulbasaur, but no Venusaur. Another mystery. Oh, another Alakazam, though. Oh my god, another Alakazam. That's pretty that nice. might be worth putting in. That might let us put in the ratio of just a little bit more. And maybe the Lickitung over the Snorlax, too. Because I know the Snorlax has a lot of health, but Lickitung is easy to stall with. It is, honestly. God damn, this guy, for a weirdo, he's he's, he's got a lot of packs. Yeah, he he's loaded. Sprays. Oh, okay, this is what you do to yourself. Which is hilarious. Golduck. Zero. How is gold like for a psychic type? Not very good. But it needed to be checked out. The poor recycled Jigglypuff. Uh huh. Claw Machine Jigglypuff. So sad. The both card and dance soul and rhythm are the secret. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll become a poet. Later, guy. Alright, let's save. Check the deck. Modify the deck. Go in here. Yeah, the main problem with Snorlax is that he's very expensive. He's, yeah, he just he's useless outside of just being a sponge for us to put the cards on, whereas Lickitung is not. Yeah. And he still has decent health. He does. And uh, then that other Alakazam, maybe we we could honestly bump all of them up one. Could average to three. Really? And then just drop something else somewhere. Okay. Maybe the Dodrio. I feel like the Dodrio is kind of useless so far. Yeah, not really much going on with that. To be fair, we haven't given him the chance. Our deck was doing too good without him. Yeah. Like, it was we were We were cleaning house, so we don't need him, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the issue. Alright. Do we want to make any other potential changes? I think I like this. I think we got a good shot of just stomping this guy. Fair. Alright, saved. Alright, let's go find where the other dude is. Check the water club. Maybe he's in here somewhere. Nope. If, uh... Maybe it really is a thing of, like, there's not three, there's only two. Let me talk to him. So you defeated... Okay, yeah. There's still one last. Can you defeat my last people? Where the fuck is the last guy? Tell me where he is! Uh, no, Chris. I don't want to fight you right now. Can you tell me where, where the, the other dudes are? are they? I'm, I'm Googling it, because I swear to God we've checked everywhere. Yeah, I could have swore we've checked. If I were right, to let's see. Something, be doing the a Fire PC. Club, go left from the lobby and she is sitting at the table. She? Alright. I guess that's her right there. Yeah, you know, I'm Jessica. The Fighting Club, holy shit. I was... You don't look anything like a Fighting Club person. I heard you from Mitch. Uh, you know, that was... They were using what we know... Actually, she has the Chun-Li hair. <laughs> that is, I think, the That's only true. thing... That's true. Let's duel Jessica. Oh, come on! <laughs> when you... <laughs> now you make us feel foolish when we see it. I think she's, her name is... Her deck is like Love is War or something. Let me tell you what I love. Stalling for time. Abra... <laughs> All is fair in Love and War. Yes. We have Abra and Mr. Mime, so I think we have to go Mime... Uh -huh. Start with and mine, build that in the background. And then let's see if we can... how we can do from here. Two, that means likely a lot of energy in hand, but we'll see. They get to go first. Don't do it. Oh my god. After we... if we... after talking shit on Doduo is the reason we lose then. Yeah, we'll if we get bodied by Doduo. We'll never live it down. Okay, thank god. Okay, so if we can take care of this Doduo, we just win. So let's Bill. 
Cadaver, please. <gasps> Pokemon Trader. Ooh, and Pokeball. Pokeball. We've yeah, basically Pokeball got first, it. for sure. Actually, I think we, we can just, just play Alakazam. Straight right? to Alakazam. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Skip the Cadaver entirely. Just get Alakazam. And then play the Pokemon Breeder to put the Alakazam on top of the Abra. Okay, what? we have to wait a turn. Oh, it's our first turn. Yeah, it's our first yeah. turn. That's why. We have to wait a turn. Okay. So we might as well just start slapping energy cards on that Ebra. Yep, yep. Let Mr. Mime just die. <laughs> Sacrificial Mime. It's okay, Mime. You're doing your duty, alright? And maybe, who knows, maybe you'll live. If it's doing 10 at a time, we might actually be... We still also need you to stall just a little bit more. If we can stall out for another turn, that'd be fantastic. We just put that out there. Um... Put one breeder? Yep. What's up, boy? Actually, we could start pulling the damage off of the Mime and putting it onto the Mew to keep Mime there longer. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> we totally can. Uh, psychic Energy on Alakazam. Yeah, stick that on Alakazam. Yeah, honestly. We're off of... Um... Squirtle and Friends? We're, we're, we're off of Squirtle and No Friends. Now we're here with Mewtwo install. That is that is our current mo and I can understand why. I think the only thing that stops it is normal types. Yeah, too many normal types would be yeah. a problem. Get fucked, loser. Fair enough. Two tails, idiot. Idiot, fool, absolute fool. Unfortunately, uh, Alakazam needs three psychic energy. And so yeah. does they. So we we have to hold on to that. This for that's another. pretty useless. Yeah, but we could get the if we get another Pokemon, we should Pokemon trade it for Chansey and then slap that on Chansey. Yeah, we can. All right, draw. Do do is thinking Fury Attack. Okay. Drew an Abra, so we can definitely Pokemon Trader now. Yeah, traitor that out, get the Chansey, slap the double colorless on the Chansey. And then we just win, I think. There's literally nothing they can do to stop us. Unless Chansey's not here. Oh, okay, no, Chansey's here. There it is. Bro's in the deck, don't worry. Do we want to switch or just move nah. some more damage counters from Mr. Mime and wait a turn. I think we can, yeah, we can just keep moving damage counters from Mr. Mime right now. There's no real reason to to overdo it. Because we're going to want to switch to get Alakazam in if right. we if we do that, so. We'll keep it like this so that we don't get hit by a random... Oh, you put it on Alakazam! Yeah, it's fine. We can just... Oh, okay, that was on it? purpose. Okay. Yeah, no, you... I, I, I didn't think that was on purpose. I, I, I realized that they yeah. might be running him on Lee. That's why I didn't put it well, on Well, if he's running him on Lee, Mew will still die, because it's 20 damage from him on Lee. There we go. <laughs> I'm just doing this in front of my opponent, and they're just, like, <laughs> actively angry at me. <laughs> Damn. Damn! Damn you and your under 30 damage. My only weakness. <laughs> you, okay. Okay. <laughs> This is just stupid. <laughs> this should not be allowed. <laughs> this is such a stupid deck. I put it so angry in your deck with Doduos and <laughs> Machops can't do anything. Because she literally can't kill the mime. Until we draw an energy, that is. Oh. I pass. <laughs> Oh, Mewtwo install the greatest. <laughs> Mewtwo needs no friends. Mewtwo and no friends. Or Mewtwo level 60. That's a, its official name. We drew another Kangaskhan. Just Kangas one energy card, I beg. I beg, just one energy card. We do. It's okay, we have another Kangaskhan. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Whenever anyone starts like telling you about how good the good old days were, show them this video. <laughs> yeah, give it to Alakazam and just start killing. Yeah, so let me just play another. Uh, we have this 
Yeah, get the damage off of Alakazam before you put him in. Yeah, let's just move it on to Kangaskhan. Uh, and then we can switch. Switch, yeah. And yeah. begin blasting. Ah, oh, damn, they're not confused. It's okay. And this normal type does not resist uh, Psychic. Fucking Tauros does that. It's okay, we have switch out. So we can always put in someone else. Damage check. <laughs> How many turns have they rolled? Or they flipped <laughs> tails twice? I, I think they've just given up to be 100% honest. Put on Chansey, I think. Just so we can blast it into Taurus if we have to. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. You're confused now. Man. See, a lot of people will tell you that the reason that Alex Sam wasn't put in cards. It's retreating! It had to retreat. It literally couldn't win. Oh my god. This might be a little bit It's going for the big hit. It's gonna it do is. 30, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think we have to retreat then, right? Uh. It does take up. No, because we have to send all of our energy to do that. I think uh, we. Yeah. Sw bring the Doduo back up and kill it. Think so? Yeah, I think so. We can always just move the damage to to something else, and That's then true. we can get um, Chansey in after we get the kill, before we lose all our energy cards. Okay. Because Chansey is uh. We we'll put in this Doduo. Sacrificial, yeah. Okay. Probably should have removed the damage counters first. Now that I realize it, but it's okay. It can't. It can't do fifty. There's no way it can do fifty. It would need double plus power, I think. Yeah, double plus power and heads. Yeah, it's, it's not happening. Oh, you're so close. It'd be a real shame if uh, it didn't have. Put all this damage, damage onto the Kangaskhan. <laughs> yep. Oh no. It's insane. You can just do as much as you want. Yeah, there was no real stopping you. No, no cap. Zero. Just do anywhere you want. And if we really just want to do it, we can just send out Chansey to die. <laughs> we can put all the damage counters on Chansey and then suicide <laughs> to effectively <laughs> heal everyone. Um, okay, so we can put this on Chansey for the potential suicide yep. play. We will try and confuse them. It's not going to do any damage, but if they're confused in that... Well, now they fail and they can hurt themselves. Yeah, do exactly. damage every time that's they try the, to attack. That's our best bet. Unless we draw a double colorless. Nice. The nice one, dummy. Works. This deck must be miserable to play against. This must be no <laughs> fun. Yeah, I'm having a I great time. I feel like time. at this point... Do we stay in, or do we go to Chansey and to start scrunching? I mean, if we're going into Chansey, we're doing a full Because Confusion doesn't go away. Doesn't like, not? he has to retreat if he wants Confusion to go away. Really? So it's not like we have to reapply it. Huh. Damn. No, it has double Confusion. Confuse himself. No, it, it hurt itself in the Confusion. No, it was doing it for the second No, round. it didn't. Yeah. Hmm... Let's see. How much damage is currently on board? Because I feel like the answer is here is that we just blow up Chansey. Is that we swap and then... Yeah, put the damage onto the Chansey, then retreat and blow up Chansey. Yes, exactly. That is exactly 100% what we're doing. <laughs> and we're going to be healing them for as much as we can. This is so insanely sick. We've created a bomb. A pokey bomb. <laughs> Alright, now we can uh, retreat. retreat. Put a psychic onto Alakazam if you haven't yet, if we have one in hand. You already did. Oh we already did, okay. Bye! <laughs> and then it blows up. <laughs> oh no, 80 damage was already oh man, you did real you did so much damage on that Chansey though. Good job. And then we can swap out into someone else, and that will probably be... We could do Mew. Just because it's, um... No, Mr. Mime is, well, isn't hurt by Machop. It'll be Mr. Mime. 
Yeah, this chapter does 20. Oh shit. Does Mr. Mime not resist <laughs> fighting? No. Well, shit. Um. Doesn't resist fighting, doesn't resist fighting, doesn't resist fighting. Uh, weakness to fighting, funny enough. Um. It's fine. I it's think just keep putting energy on Alakazam and just let Mr. Mime die. I don't think it matters. Alright. Because this will also let us get Alakazam in for free when Mr. Mime dies. That's true. We can also energy search. Get a psychic energy just for the hell of it. And we enter. Yeah, yeah there's just... merit in simply perishing. Yeah. We should look for another Chansey. <laughs> if we can. If we ever yeah, find another Chansey's one. pretty damn good. Yeah, it works very well in our deck of blowing up Chansey. Once we've moved over, it's like uh, Kuma from One Piece. <laughs> she takes <laughs> all the <laughs> everyone's pain, and then we turn our opponent into Zoro. Chop was fainted, and that's basically it from this point. All he has is the Do Duo. Yep. Do Duo ain't doing a damn thing. No. Yeah, <laughs> Do Duo is just failing them on the damage check. This is why we took Do Duo out of the deck. Yeah. That is definitely one of the. It's a. It was a valid reason. Uh, we can put it on mute for the fun of it. We can put ghastly, and then we can for next turn. Um, we'll see if this even does any damage to us. Come on, you can get two heads. I believe in you. See, my face <laughs> was half. Got one. There you go. There you go. Put this on Kangaskhan. Then we can Haunter Evolve Ghastly. Then we can Professor Oak. Draw seven. She is staring at us right now with just <laughs> venom. Cold eyes as I say, Bill for two. <laughs> <laughs> Plus power to do ten extra damage. One moment. Gonna swap this damage counter off of my ass. I wanted her to get two so I could knock out Mew. And then <laughs> let her to uh, become no, a No, you can't card. knock out with our Alakazam, unfortunately. Oh, damn. It won't let you. Pokeball? Gengar can on the other side. Searching Gengar? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I would search for another Mew if I could. But yeah, get Gengar. Can't evolve Gengar, though, sadly. But uh, instead, I'll just plus power. Yeah, yeah plus power. Put, Ten extra damage. Put her out of her misery. <laughs> I like to think that every single one of the dudes from the fighting gym goes to the gym and is like, You're, th watch out for this fucking guy. <laughs> this <laughs> this guy's an asshole. This stupid fucking deck. This message is highlighted. Uh, Yes, it is another goalie. Boom, it is. How can I lose? Sometimes I don't check them when they're highlighted. <laughs> How can I lose? Bro, did you not watch the entire game? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you lost. <laughs> oh, another Professor Oak. Let's go. We might look into something to cut something for another Professor Oak. Yeah, I think we definitely put another Professor Oak. Defender. Cool. How boring. <laughs> or after playing 20 minutes of a stalking. <laughs> <laughs> Never empathized with an NPC more in my life. Fair enough. Uh, not me, though. I love stall games. At least in, in the old style. I used to run a stall Yu-Gi-Oh deck as well. <laughs> I was a real fun <laughs> person at my uh, local game store, I can tell you that much. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone I'm sure enjoyed everybody loved you. They were lucky that I was lucky that I was funny, otherwise I would be hated. Um, what do we want to get rid of? Do we really want to get rid of an energy? Maybe, maybe. One energy card? Maybe a single energy card? Alright. Because we'll with the goes. increased draw power, we'll yeah, see them more often. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it works. Statistically, it works. The math is sound. Uh, well, let's go beat up our fighting club guy. We just have to pray to God that he has no, um... He has no normal types, and, and we just draw Chansey. Alright. So you have defeated all my pupils. Let's see what you have, what it takes to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Show me what you got. 
Damn, he even has a ring behind him. His name of his deck is the First Strike deck. Would be a real shame if he was unable to do any damage at all. Kangaskhan is very bad in this matchup. <laughs> that is actively yes. the worst draw we could have gotten. Yes. Unless he's starting with a normal type. So let's hope that we get heads. There we go. Okay. Let's do the damage control. Chop. Mankey. I think we could actually just kill him with Kangaskhan if we're lucky. But let's Pokeball and see what we can get. We can get Tails. <laughs> let's go. Fetch. But we're, we're, we got, like, limited time to build up this Kangaskhan and fucking make... Yeah, the Machop is gonna do, like, 40? Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's bad. It's not good. It, this is our worst spot. This is the comeuppance for the fun that we've been having. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. We can only take two more hits. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got Jesus. another Kangaskhan, though. <laughs> Listen, all fun has to stop eventually. <laughs> And if this is the way we go out, damn it, this is the way I wanted to go out. Punch him. Comet punch. Heads. Heads. Damn it. Heads. Heads. One more time. Yeah! <laughs> he has no energy cards. I'm gonna call it right here. Gengar. That would be real good if we had any Gastlys. Please have no Pokemon. Have no Pokemon, have no energy. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Uh, down goes to Kangaskhan. It was unfortunate. Nothing we could do, though. We need a. S we would. We would. We rob this if we can draw a single Ghastly or a Abra. We literally cut one of you from the deck. Why are more of you showing up? That's alright. We have time. We have time. No worries. No worries. Oh, okay. We can, okay. We can Pokemon Trader. Oh my we gotta, god. We gotta commit to one. We gotta commit to one. Yeah. One, two, three. Shoot. Do we want Gengar or do we want Alakazam? Gengar hits the bench. Alakazam can confuse. Uh, Gengar has um, resistance to fighting. I think we have to go Ghastly. Okay. Yep. All right. And we'll Good swap call. out the Kadabra. Yeah, because we could get Pokemon Breeder and just skip Kadabra entirely. Yes. Kadabra. And we will get... Get the yes. good Ghastly, too. I'll get the good gas. We don't want to waste the bad yeah. ghastly in case. Well, the good ghastly has more health. Just in case it gets hit, it won't die instantly. True. All right, good ghastly, go in. Play good ghastly. Put a psychic card on good ghastly. Fetch and hope and to draw a very good card. That's a pretty not, good card. It's not bad. It's not bad. Especially with Gengar, because we can push something to the bench and then get double prizes again, like last time. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ooh, and we drew Abra, so if we ever draw it, we'll be pretty good off. Uh, go here. Uh, how much does the retreat cost? You ain't retreating anytime soon, my friend. So give us another card. I like regardless of any generation, um, the ability to card draw is broken in a card game. Yep. You, give, you give it to any anything, it's going to be really good. All right, we have two more draws left, basically. We got a Mr. Mime. We can put him in just for the hell of it. Just in case he has a big, strong Pokemon. Put that on Haunter, and then we can evolve Haunter. So now he knows what he's dealing with, and we fetch. And we can get Professor Oak! So, oh, that's a good fetch. Yeah, unfortunately we have very good cards in our hand. But I think it should be fine, because we actually have two copies now. So we don't mind if we Professor Oak away in Alakazam, because we have another Alakazam. Yeah. Okay, we draw Psychic Energy. Oh, but no, we actually have Gust of Wind. Oh, yeah, Let's, we want to we'll, hang on to those. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. Hang on, we'll hang on to it for right now. Because we can actually do it right now, can't we? No, because uh, Kangaskhan. Did you play Abra this turn? Okay. Play Pokemon Breeder. Oh, duh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. stupid. All right. And then, we, yeah, there you go. And then now you can Oak. We don't want to potentially gust the wind to do the thing, because we can just I mean, insta kill. Have Tauros, we can oh, kill him, insta kill him on lane before he uses high jump kick. So we just need to sacrifice yeah, the Kangaskhan. Yeah, and then right. it, it dies yeah, next turn. I, trust yeah. me. And then I'll fetch <laughs> for the hell of it. <laughs> Double colorless ain't bad. 
The only situation we need to avoid is drawing two oaks. That's bad. But I think we should be fine with Gengar. Yeah, of course. We have drawing a uh, gust of wind. We got that him on Lee that you've been building up. That's very nice, very nice, very cool. Uh, we can play Ghastly. Does anything here really need a double colorless? No. Damn. Do we just uh, oak then? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we should be built up enough that it, uh, there's no way we lose with Gengar and Alakazam on Yeah, the I mean, if, as long as we get some psychics in here to build up Alakazam, like it's yeah. over. Oh, put Mewtwo down for sure, too. Yeah. Because if one of them dies, Mewtwo can just roll in and get all that yeah. energy onto itself. Yep. And that's basically a win from right there. Yeah, right, GG. Hit... Uh, put this on the... Put it on the Mankey, just because if he yeah. brings them a chop out, Mankey will be pretty close to dead. Mm-hmm. There goes him on Lee. There goes Mankey. 70. Yeah, damage. buddy, we're turning it around. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit of a rough start. We almost lost, but we just were... We have too much. He's using the Fender. Can we get plus power? Nah, damn. I was hoping we could... Mm, psychic energy on Alakazam. I think he... I think it still kills past the defender. We win next turn. Oh, defender's 20, not yeah. 10. Okay. Yeah, we win next turn because now Mankey's going to die from the Dark Mind. Yep. Unless he plays another Benchmon, which no. he didn't. Game over. Get fucked, idiot. He's... Good good job, Mitch. You did great. Grown-ass man looking dude. <laughs> Grown-ass man. Not a single... We couldn't even use this Poké Power if we wanted. Because there's literally nothing we can do. There we go. This deck is pretty good for something we just threw together. Yeah, according to my brother, this is the best deck for this game. <laughs> something to equivalent of this. The stall Alakazam Gengar technique that we've looked at here. Just by complete accident, we built it. <laughs> Win. I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah, win, lose. That's another gym taken care of. Wonderful! Great match! You're very good. None of this is told of any sarcasm. Yeah, extreme sarcasm right now. Yeah, here, take this fight. You'll find the secrets of the decks of this deck encrypted in it. It's true, we can go to the... That's weird that we coincidentally got all of the ones on the right-hand side of that first. Yeah, not even trying. Here, take this, too. It's a laboratory booster pack. Okay. Ooh, Ditto! Doesn't really do anything, though. Aw, he's cute, though. Yeah. For the rest of the game, replace Ditto with a copy of a basic Pokemon card. If that Ditto. wasn't chosen at random, that would be pretty good. I mean, if you put um, four Kangaskhans in your deck and then a Ditto, <laughs> the Ditto will always be Kangaskhan, but unfortunately you remove damage counters, right? Oh, but you don't remove energies. Hmm. Yeah, just the damage counters. Oh, but it's any basic Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, we got another good Ghastly. We can take out the bad Ghastly and put the good Ghastly we in our top of what, What's the definitive best deck in the game, boy? It's a Hitmaker comp of Hitmonchan, Electabuzz, Scyther, and all IHP Pokemon. So Hitmonchan, Scyther, Electabuzz. Electabuzz. Yeah, so that speedrunners use like, Scyther like crazy. Just get in there and start punching them out. Oh, I get it, I get it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense to me. They also have a lot of HP. Yeah, I can say we've literally won with just him on Chan and nothing else, so I can understand that. Ooh, w. I don't think we own a Scyther though. No, we don't. If we did, that'd be bitchin'. I'll just... There's a Zapdos FTK. How do you FTK with Zapdos? Oh, that's the only card in your deck, so you always draw it. That's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, so that's the legendary Zapdos then, right? Yeah. Okay. My brother says basically you loop the legendary Zapdos four of, and then you make it so those are the only cards in your deck, and you just play them and you just win. <laughs> It would return them back to your hand, and then <laughs> you can continuously deal 30 damage. Well, we'll beat the game by the time we get that, won't we? Yeah, good chance. Um, What were we looking at here? That's right. Good. Good Ghastly. Put one in here. Move one of the bad Ghastlies. Mm. Yeah, we'll 
good to keep on going. Save the deck. And move on. Alright, let's see. What is next? So, who do you think? Science, maybe? Science will probably be a pretty good idea. These science nerds have had it too good for too long. Because I think they're also weak to psychic. I'm kind of curious to see what their decks are. The first strike deck, read the instructions. That's a, weird, that's a weird way of saying look at deck, but sure. I'll read the instructions real quick. Yeah, this guy actually had a pretty good deck, it's just that he didn't draw the good ones fast enough. Uh, he did battle bench attack deck. It's fine. You also already had the Blastoise one. The Blastoise deck? Yeah. You literally skipped War Turtle. Oh, you skip? You're supposed to skip War Turtle? Not you just. You literally just run 4 Squirtle, 4 Blastoise. <laughs> Four Squirtle, four Blastoise, and then Pokemon Breeder as a strat. We only have one Pokemon Breeder, though. I mean, that's like a modern strategy. Like, when you play Charizard, you don't run Charmeleon. You run Rare Candy. Huh, fair enough. You know, I'm just call me a stickler for the old times, then. I'm all about, you know, the, the, the fair gameplay. I'm all about <laughs> putting a uh, level Do we two. have any tar- oh my god. It's wrong. Are we getting jumped? I guess so. Hi, Y. So, hi, Yom. So you're finally come this far? I've already won five medals. By the time you win your eighth medal, I'll have inherited the legendary Pokemon cards. I'll catch you later. Oh. See ya! No, he's just here to be a dick. <laughs> That's bad. What an asshole. We literally beat you in a tournament setting, my guy. I don't know what you think. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you think this is. Do we have any Taros? If not, we should get some. I don't think we have any Taurus, but I actually don't know if we can dictate what <laughs> what packs to get. I mean, we can't, but... Are you, we don't have even one? No, we would have added them if we saw. Damn. Yeah. The Taurus would be really nice, but we don't got them. Yeah, especially for the Psychic Gym. That's where we are right now. Man, how bad is it to have a receding hairline on a Sprite? It's yeah, <laughs> a receding hairline and that long hair swaying in the back. I know. Hi, I'm Murray, Master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who visits the clubs to win the medals. How do I know this? Because I'm that's psychic! What that's what everyone does. Why would anyone come to you if they weren't doing that? Okay, let me test my new card strategy against your deck. Are you ready? We can just skip straight to the gym. I guess, Murray. Check out my cool spoon! Watch <laughs> me bend it. This guy looks like a professional magic player from the 90s. <laughs> yeah, he does. He looks like one of the characters from that uh, Magic the Gathering manga. <laughs> he does look like one of the ones that would be in there. Yeah. Damn, I need to check to see if there's any new updates <laughs> to read and see what's going on in the world. Oh, yeah, that's a really good series. I need to look at that, too. It is. Uh, God, it's such a good series. Fuck. It's so funny that one of the best... Oh, we lose. I don't think we have a single out to this card in our oh, entire Oh, my deck. God, you're right. We don't have anything. Lick. I mean, we we have Dream Eater, and we can just okay, put wait. it to sleep. Maybe instead of colorless and psychic, we should go fighting and psychic. That might be the way with a Chansey. Because we literally have nothing for Chansey. No, we don't. It would be a little bit of a good idea. <laughs> Let's put on here, and then our only answer is uh, Hauntor. Wait. What? No, I have an idea. What? No, I mean, this is fine, but I'm just, I'm, what you're okay. doing is good, but, um, we, he has bench Pokemon, right? Yeah. So we use Gengar's ability that puts damage on the bench, and then we use Gengar's ability to move that damage onto the Chansey. That's a good idea. That's a little likely the, oh, actually, he's playing really weak Pokemon, so that might be the only way to do it. I just realized he's playing our deck. <laughs> he's just put an Abra <laughs> onto the field. He is playing our deck. Oh, no. He's going to scrunch us. Yeah, I guess we can just skip over the because the Dream Eater just takes so long. We may as well just attack the bench Pokemon. Yeah. I think we just go after the bench. Yeah. All right. It'll take fucking forever, but you know what? It's the strat. But also, he's got a lot of weak ass psychic types. Yeah, if he keeps playing uh, like Abras and stuff. Yeah, we can take him out that way. That's one way. Simple, clean, and we also don't have to deal with an Alakazam later on. And later on, if we ever get um, a good bench And we Pokemon, can build up our own Chansey, too. So yeah. take this one out. Oh, we're going to have Abra and Alakazam on our side. 
Yeah, he's got Snorlax and Chansey in the back. We have literally no answer to this. He's right. This is, this a is gonna be match. a very grindy battle. Oh my god, he made Kadabra. This might be the depending on how long this goes. This might be the final one for the <laughs> for the night. This is gonna be a hell of a battle. It is. It really is. Okay. Okay. We can go Kangaskhan. This, this is this is damage. This is yeah. potential damage on the board. And we can go Kadabra for now. Then Dark Mind once again. Then yep, just keep chipping away at that Kadabra. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, I can't we... believe we're playing a mirror match. I know. Unfortunately, he might win because he has the chancy and we don't. No! You motherfucker! He's out stalling us, Zen. Him and we made fun of his spoon, and this is what happens. Whatever top deck. No, bro. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> He's putting it on the other Chansey, though. Alright, alright, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> now we're kind of screwed, because now he can switch it to the other ones. <laughs> well, that's not good. Oh, wait, energy search, let's go. Single psychic type. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter anymore. Because he evolved into Alakazam. And he can just move this to his other Pokemon. But that's fine, because we can't do any damage to his other Pokemon. Yeah. So moving them to the other Pokemon is actually kind of beneficial. Alright, that works for me. And if all he's going to do is Scrunch, we're not out of this. We're not out of this. No, not not yet. Give it to them. There you go. The world's longest grind game ever put to film people look back at this and say how the hell did they play for so long bro <laughs> how did anyone stomach a 40 minute duel we could potentially mule away his alakazam but unfortunately that means he'd have to play it that's not happening but eventually he's gonna have to start moving those damage counters away from alakazam but he doesn't want to because we can't actually deal with any of his normal types yeah Hilarious to think about. We drew an Abra. I think for the sake of this, we can't play Abra. Yeah, I don't think we play Abra. Alright, there we go. Alakazam gets knocked out, but this is the turn he moves away that damage counter. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. If he doesn't, then he's just being foolish. What? He didn't? Does he not want to? Put that shit on Kangaskhan ASAP. Yeah, I know, but what the why, why the fuck is something you like during here? Might just be shitty AI. I mean, it is an AI. I, I think it. I think it literally AI. is looking at the fact that my um, Gengar can't do damage to any of his normal types. So he just doesn't care. Yeah. That yeah. Makes sense. But we can on the bench though, because you don't apply resistance on the bench. Yeah. No, you're right. Ooh, there we and go. And we Kangaskhan. now have a combat capable Kangaskhan. We yeah. One hundred percent. And he threw an Abra on the bench again. Perfect. That's another free prize. It is. Oh, there might be hope. This might be the world's hardest throw that I've ever seen in a Pokemon <laughs> competition. <laughs> Bro's just out here hard throwing, putting Abra's on the bench. There's, he's just no match for the Sonic uh, Gengar. <laughs> he swapped into another Chansey! Why? <laughs> What is his tactics? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in case he has another energy removal. Yeah, it's a good Die, idea. Die, Abra. Bro's tactics are outside of my purview of my mind. If he evolves right here, he might be the greatest player. He's not. <laughs> He's just gonna stall this game until the end. All right, there goes Abra. Another free prize card. Let's go. Psychic energy, sure. That's a good backup. We can at least start putting it on some other ones. We can put that on Mr. Mime because Mr. Mime only has 40 HP. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's throwing so hard for no reason. Yeah, why would he even put these Pokemon on the bench? It's the only way he could lose is to keep doing this. 
Yes, that is in fact, you're 100% right. This is the only way he loses. Right. The AI must not be programmed to like understand how to respond to bench damage. It has to be, something like that. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. Put it on Kangskull. And I'm gonna put it on Mr. Mine. I think their entire tactic is built around the Alakazam thing, but then once they had it on Alakazam, they just didn't want to move it to one of their other Pokemon. There, there has to have been something in the AI that's getting fucked over doing this matchup. I think it's, it's because... It's probably because, it, like you said, it registers that Gengar isn't doing any damage. So, like, it just doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Psychic Energy on... We'll give it to Mew, just in case we draw a double colorless. I kind of want to just Professor Oak and see, but also... If yeah, we might as well. Well, actually, we do run a risk of running out of cards in our deck. Yeah, so if we don't have to, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Yeah. I don't think we Oak. I don't think we need to Oak. Yeah, he's already Oaked once. So he could easily just deck out. Yeah, see? Scrunch. So much scrunching, but it just doesn't matter. Because he, the, the, he's the, the dudes in the back are just taking all the damage. I was about to plus power, but there's literally no reason. Yeah, Which scrunch, it wouldn't work. Now I need him to play another card on the bench. <laughs> Alright. Alakazam, let's go. A sa our second Alakazam. I think we can actually just play Abra. <laughs> he played another mime. <laughs> Perfect. Love to see it. 100% love to see it. Uh, do we have an Abra? I can put Abra on the board for right now. Then we will Dark Mine. Hit the Abra. Look into Chansey for next time. Though, funny enough, we do have a Kangaskhan that could potentially just wreck this Chansey's life now, but yeah. Scrunch is just too annoying. We have to fight Stall yeah, Tactics. I'd rather, I'd rather tactics. just keep doing this, because it, it, it does damage through the Scrunch. Yep. Uh, can Breeder can that breeder? Alakazam onto yep, the... Yep. Yeah. And put it on the Abra. Just two Alakazams. This is the sickest board ever for what is basically a weenie stall fight. <laughs> As he slowly realizes that there's nothing that he can do to stop this combo. <laughs> <laughs> As he continues... I mean, he can put energy on the goddamn Chansey and just kill Gengar in one hit if he wanted to, but he's not doing it. Yeah, exactly. He just doesn't want to, for whatever reason. Oh shit, I put it on the wrong... It's fine. <laughs> it, it literally doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just one extra turn, yeah. Yeah. Now here's a question, do we beat him before he runs out of cards to draw? Uh, uh, not if he doesn't play more bench Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna hold on to that in case of energy removal, I remembered. Goes Mr. Mime. Okay, 17. Scrunch? <laughs> I've never seen someone <laughs> scrunch so much. He's sitting on the other side of the table, like, furiously, like, yes, scrunch! <laughs> scrunch. That <laughs> will scrunching. save me. Everyone else watching this game is like, what the fuck? They've gone home. <laughs> they've, <laughs> they've, they've left. I honestly, unless he plays an Abra, I don't think we... He has 14 cards in his hand right now. <laughs> None of them can deal with this. This is insane. Me too. Oh man, that went so long my PS4 controller gave up on me. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> what does scrunch even mean? It means to like um, curl up. Yeah, kind of. Holy shit, do I have to switch over to manual? I do. I have to switch over uh -oh. because my controller just gave up on me. Uh okay. Um, which one of these is the right button? Okay, that's B. Uh, okay, uh... We're fine here. Attack with Dark Mind. Put it on... Funny enough, Snorlax actually has the least HP next. Alright, let's go! He literally has no out to this. He has 15 cards left. He... <laughs> he retreated Chansey! <laughs> Why? 
I don't know why. He just, the AI is like, I'm losing. How lose? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Switch, Pokemon. Help. 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 Scrunching, not working. Switching to second scrunch. <laughs> Much scrunch harder. Oh, uh, damn. This is, that was his out. But unfortunately for him, we, we already knew. Can we even energy removal him? I actually I'm afraid to do it in case his AI breaks and realizes that he can just self-destruct. I don't know why he's not self-destructing. We don't have a weakness to like normal types. That just kills us if he does it. But then that kills Chansey, so maybe he doesn't want to do it. I don't know. But that Snorlax is getting fucked up 10 damage at a time, baby. This is basically um like the one Doctor Who episode, a Heaven's Door. We are just oh my God. slowly punching away at the rock <laughs> until it wins. How does that quote go? Damn it, if Neo were here, he would know it by heart. Uh, a, a bird chipping away at a mountain by its beak over thousands of years will eventually take it down. Something like that. I have to find it. But that's basically what we're doing here. That is what is going on right here. That is what you're witnessing live. Oh, God. There's really, there's literally no reason for me to do anything. Actually, keep on, keep it on, dark mine. Yep, dark mine. Snorlax. Snorlax is next to go down. Alright, I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens when he runs out of cards to draw and we just win automatically. How, what happens when you win when your opponent does nothing? For the entirety of... Like, as someone had to have tested this game, did they ever think of what happens if you if you turn one Gengar <laughs> into the, into a turn one Chansey? What happens next? What does the AI do? And I don't think they ever programmed this. They never thought this scenario would happen. <laughs> they were not prepared for this. Yeah, it's the Kobayashi Maru of game testing. The unwinnable um, scenario. There's no way out of this bug. He has nine cards left. Let's go. Uh, gust of Wind. Uh, is any of his Is Snorlax immune to... Yeah, Damn it, sure is. Do we have the plus power still? We do, but I'm afraid of... We breaking... could we could Gust of Wind the Snorlax up, play the plus power, kill the Snorlax, and get an additional 10 damage on something else, just to speed it up a little bit. All right. Yeah, bring the Snorlax up, plus power, Dark Mind, and then put damage on the Kangaskhan too. Uh, plus power, more to power, and then he's just the gonna Kangaskhan keep switching sure, between yeah. these two chances. So I'm gonna give yeah, he's gonna keep scrunching forever. Yeah. He's realized that his tactic of scrunch with Chansey, then swap to the other Chansey. Oh hell yeah! A <laughs> third Chansey has entered the chat. <laughs> He's scrunching. He's scrunching so hard right now. We, I literally can't play Bill and I can't play any other cards. I can't even play my own damn Chansey to counter his. This is a travesty. So I'm gonna quickly check to see if I energy removal his Chansey, what happens? <laughs> if he just panics. Yeah. See, now watch this be where he starts putting double colors on and attacking. Like that broke the... The oh, AI I would be so sad <laughs> with. I mean, <laughs> at this point, swinging now. you oh. son of a bitch! <laughs> You're lucky that I have the answer. He's gonna go back. Nope, to he scrunching. just put the energy back on and started scrunching again. Scrunch and his uh, whole his whole gym right now is like, bro. <laughs> they're never do beating. anything else. At this point, I if I if I saw my gym leader do this, this is like that image of when that person said, "When you realize your goat is washed, that's me. I'm hanging it up. I'm not a part of the gym anymore." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn. I'm I'm like Mega the the, the, the I was gonna say Mega Mind. I'm I'm um. Uh, I'm the dude from Incredibles. I'm looking at the poster of Murray. And I'm tearing it down. <laughs> I'm done. 
The, the, the Murray merch is out. <laughs> I'm no longer a Murr. The, <laughs> a, he, I'm not a Murr. I'm not a Murr anymore. A.K.A. The, the, the name of his fan group. The Murms. Big Murr. We only have four cards left in his deck. Are we even going to win this in time? Or is he just going to deck out and lose? <laughs> we will find out, huh? I throw away my spoons because it reminds me of him. <laughs> oh my god, I think we're going to kill him on literally the last turn of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We're so close. I'm so tired, Sam. <laughs> this is a battle of wits, and I feel like he's actually just won. Go back in there, Gengar. Two cards left in deck. Now here's my answer. Do we BM him? <laughs> and make him lose <laughs> my card draw. <laughs> Having I not like how played. he's about to deck out. He's got two cards left in his deck, and he's still just scrunching. He hasn't taken a single action that would do any damage to our side of the board. Nothing. He's done nothing. He scrunches. We have six cards left in deck. You know what? He's decking out. <laughs> We're, the, this is the only time we are ever gonna win by deck out in this game. <laughs> he retreated. Oh no. No, he's not gonna do what I think he is. I think his program is only programmed to scrunch. It's all he knows. <laughs> all I know how to do to scrunch. Deck out. Cannot draw a card because there are no cards in the deck. Decision. You won the duel with Murray. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, huh? I lost. <laughs> How did I lose? I didn't attack a single time. How did I lose? <laughs> I did that. My chancy tactic was unstoppable. Well, you must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take this Psychic Metal. Oh my god, we did it. We won the Psychic Metal. And here, take this Laboratory Booster Pack. <clears throat> Mr. Mime, Poliwhirl, Marowak, Magmar, Venomat, Doduo, Slowpoke. Okay. I love that Slowpoke art. It is really nice Slowpoke It's just art. a little guy in the distance. This is the hardest Electrode has ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, slow bro. Nice. Oh, we have another good Ghastly. No gambler. I'll think of a new strategy. I'll come see me again. Yeah, I'll how about you think of a first strategy? <laughs> well, my first strategy was just scrunch, and then eventually he just gives up. No, don't tell me how to fight Ronald. <laughs> oh, no, we totally do. <laughs> no, I didn't say it. <laughs> Hi, have you no. gotten any better? I already won the six medal. I'll see how much better you've gotten. If you win, I'll give you another red card. Come on, let's duel. Oh my god. Ronald, powerful Ronald deck. <laughs> not like this. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't have control access to my controller. I have nothing. <laughs> Kegs God, Ghastly, Abra, Mr. Mime. Oh well, at least we have god. a good starting hand. Um, I bet he's got Tauros in his deck. I swear to God, if he if he starts with uh, Chansey, the stream ends. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna die laughing if Chansey is the thing I see on the screen. I, I can't. I literally can't handle it anymore, bro. I'm so I'm so emotionally done. God oh, damn later. it! <laughs> oh, we can potentially beat him. Yeah. Because he has yeah. weakness is psychic. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta get some energy on our mons. Yeah, and start and drawing. Get a shit bit. rolling. Yeah, we have Professor Rogue, but I would like to draw regardless. Yeah, plus I want to use those energy cards. Ooh, nice, Jancy. Yeah, that too. It will take a while before he can start beating the shit out of. Oh, but he can start taking out our bench Pokemon, right? Twenty damage at a time. That's yeah. bad. That's very bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's not great. We need to we need to get some damage on the board quickly. 
Yeah, okay. Maybe we just slap an energy this turn and just go ahead and oak to, to reach for a um, evolution Double. Pokemon. Or, or, yeah, that too. Okay, I'll oak. Because we really need to get some health on that Abra, especially. Yeah, that or we can start Comet Punching, whichever one works. Okay, we got Kadabra okay, and we got Energy. Nice. And we got Pokemon Trader, so that's actually... Well, actually, yeah, Kadabra, he, can't, uh, he can't beat us anymore. Actually, he still can, but... Um, well, Kadabra this turn. Yeah. I'll then, Kadabra. well, I think we abandon Comet Punch for right now, and we start energying up the Kadabra, yeah. and we can Pokemon Trader the Mew. Or the Haunter. We have, no, we have a Ghastly on Bench, right? Yes, we have a guessing on bench. Okay. We can go either one, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it just then you ditch the Mew with the trader to get Alakazam. Okay. We'll fetch. See what we can get. Oh, of course. Kadabra's next. Uh, but it should be fine. Well, now you can trade her away the dupe Kadabra. Yeah, I can. Uh, he's going to go for Mr. Mime first. Okay. I mean, we can just start swapping it out for... Um... Let me see. What do we here? Okay. So we can Pokemon Trader away the Mew. Yeah, the Mew, because we just literally drew yeah, an Abra. Yeah, and get Alakazam. Alakazam. Basically, I want him to actually go for. I want to use the Pokemon. And then start. Bumping that Alakazam. Yeah. Give it to Kangaskhan. I want him to actually go for Kangaskhan so we can switch into one of the other Pokemon. Uh, and Kangaskhan already takes double damage, so she, she's one energy card away from just dying, so it's, I'm fine with it. Yeah. And then we can Haunt. Perfect. Okay, it's weird to be in this mindset of like, okay, this is an actual opponent. <laughs> I was about to just end turn, because I'm just so used to not doing anything. <laughs> Alright, we're good. I think we're, we're solid. Do you agree, Camilla? Is that why you're meowing in the back? Is Lucifer? Yes. He really doesn't like that we're playing this. Yeah, see? That, <laughs> that, that was what I was uh, expecting. And funny enough, I think we can actually go into Haunter and just make him go to bed. Because Haunter doesn't take double damage, and we still, we still need more energy for Alakazam. Okay. Yeah, we can just put him to sleep for now. Actually, we can just get Gengar right here. We won't, nope. though. <laughs> we could. We won't. Yeah. The, the well-laid plans of mice and men, then. But this way, we at least don't take 50 to the dome every single time. Yeah. Hopefully. Nice. And plus, yeah, sleep. Take a nap. Take a nice sleep nap. Mario sleep. The upcoming... Finally. Yeah, Mario Sleep, the upcoming sequel to Pokemon Sleep that you've been waiting for. You can catch your Goomba sleeping. You can catch your Goomba sleeping. <laughs> and this is just, this guy's just dead now. Yeah, he's just dead, yeah. Perish. <laughs> exactly. Get the highest sleep score that you can. Ooh, double colorless is very nice. It would have been nice before we lost everything, but it's fine. Of course he's gonna go Kangaskhan, because they have, Yeah, he's uh, gonna start fetching. Nobody knows. Uh, of course it's the one, literally the only Pokemon of his- Of course he's running this! Oh my god! We're gonna put this on Chansey for the potential suicide? Yeah, for the potential suicide scrunches as well. Yeah. If we need to stall more. And we just put him to put him to sleep. Yeah, and fun time. Yep. And if the worst that comes to worst, we got Gengar, and we can just <laughs> do the same tactic of thirty, uh, hit one of the bench Pokemon because he can't do that much damage. Just actually, no, he can. Yeah, he can do uh, Comet Punch. Yeah, he can. Okay. We can put a Psychic type on. Chansey, I think. Yeah, it has to be Chansey. And Which we can just keep putting him to sleep until... Yeah, only one retreat cost, so actually next turn we can... I think we next turn we can kill, can we? Uh... 80? That's... 90. Kangaskhan has 90. Okay, well if it stays asleep we can kill... Uh, second turn. 
and just yeah. save us the 80 damage. Because we don't we don't want to attack twice with Chansey, because Chansey will die just to do 10 damage. Yeah, but the, the we can move offset some of it with Alakazam. Oh, true. We can play another... Oh, we have an Abra, so we can just play Abra for now. Alright, keep stalling. We want, I want to be able to use Dream Eater once, and that should be enough to safely put in Chansey. And just keep Kangaskhan asleep. Finish the turn without Don't attacking. wake up! Fuck! I know. And it's gonna start calming punching us as well. Yes, it is. It can start combo punching now. I would start putting some stuff on uh, Alakazam, probably. Yeah, we're good to put on Alakazam now. The only the only worry we have is if they use um, energy removal. But it's fine, we can just Hypnosis. Because this is a guaranteed hit of Hypnosis. Yeah, but then they, they get to coin flip right after. To get yeah. off! Oh my god, That's dude. the only unfortunate part. And now they get to flip He's four getting coins. getting so fucking lucky. He is. Now, Dude's thankfully... gonna flip fucking four heads. Nah, he's failed. Failure. Loser! <laughs> you made your loser! Feel sorry for yourself? <laughs> Feel sorry for yourself? Four... That, yeah, whatever. Terrible luck with his Kangaskhan. Absolute failure. Uh, yeah, kill that, cool. kill that shit off. Kill that shit off. Problem <laughs> is, three heads is a kill. Sure is. That's why we need to... We'll see. God damn it. I think we really should think about just swapping in Chansey and going for the suicide tactic, but we'll see how good, how lucky he is on this. Oh, god damn. Gengar right here. Gengar right here. Lickitung. Lickitung could help for stalling. Uh, do we want to save... Or do we want to let him die? Uh, uh, I think we have to let him die. It would suck to let him die because Gengar, but yeah, I think we might have to. Yeah, it, it, we have no idea where Gengar could be. Never it's not our only Haunter. We can always try it later. Yeah. Just keep putting to sleep and hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. And keep hoping that they get just four tails in a row. But they're very good at pulling heads based off of how f their performance on fucking this move. Come on. Yes! yes! <laughs> 20 damage, let's go. Then Chansey's free to come in here and stomp. Alright, me too. I don't have enough energy on the bench. Just, yeah, it's fine, just next turn. Because now Mewtwo can also absorb the two energy that are about to go to the grave here, so he can fight too. Yep, yep. Now, the unfortunate is that he does, Fuck. in fact, have a second Kangaskhan. <laughs> Uh, uh. Which we'll have to deal with that soon, but we have to just check to see how much HP it has. <coughs> it's yeah, it's, it should be 90, right? Close to, something like that. I think Kangaskhan's have 90, yeah. Uh, no, 4, 60, 70, 80. yeah, it's 90, yep. Yeah, we need double power. Well, for right now, we're going to put in Chansey and hope that their Kangaskhan can't kill. Oh, wait! A potential out. Sorry, uh, you, uh, it's unfortunate, Mewtwo, that you just literally can't do anything in this matchup. Yeah. Okay, so we can kill so them. I think kill this Kangaskhan. Ideally, we draw into plus power or something. Okay, they um, can't They can't comet punch us immediately. We win. Because we can just move the damage off of Can uh, Chansey. Oh, true. Put it on like a tongue or something. Yeah, exactly. We can evenly distribute it. And he has no response. And we just got an oak, which is clutch. Yes. But I think it's over. We win. We might, you know, we can talk about this later but when my controller's working and I can go to the deck editor. But maybe more potions to work with this might be beneficial. Maybe. But we'll see. But for right now, we're going to go Pokemon Power. Yep. Use that. I'll put it on dudes I don't mind that he accidentally KOs. Put it on Lickitung. on Lickitung. Yep. And double edge. Double again, edge. Don't need scrunch. Just double edge. We have the homicidal, <laughs> suicidal, genocidal Chansey on our side. Easy win. Oh, thank god. I, I would not be able. I, just a second Alakazam is hit. 
Just to just drive home that he's fucked. Yeah, and that's right, our chance he gets to live this. Alex Sam is so good, dude. It, this power is insane. <laughs> There's this ability here where you can just manage it with a lot of high HP Pokemon. It's kind of crazy. Double Edge. And I think that's it. Oh, well, that's not it, because he has more Pokemon, but there's nothing yeah. more he can really do. Because the next Pokemon... Yeah, I mean, Pokemon... he lost four energy on that, um... He's gonna... Oh, he's shit. gonna bring... he can kill here. This Jammy? is gonna kill. Yeah, because oh, he's gonna have jab. Shit, yeah, you're right. But I think we can just turn by right around and kill him with Alakazam. Yeah, we can. right? Yeah, we can. Or actually, no! Alakazam only does 30, I think, which is only gonna do 60, 60 which is not enough to kill. He has 70 um... health. Put the Alakazam in, move all the damage off of it onto somebody else. Yeah, that's right. And I'm then gonna... and then we'll just have to two-turn him. Unless yeah. we get a plus power randomly. I think that's the the best bet. I think put Mewtwo on the bench too, now that he's out of normals. Oh yeah. We can have more high HP now. But my idea was that if he didn't draw the extra energy, we were going to suicide bomb the Chansey. And just move all the HP counters onto it, and then just blow it up. Uh, okay. Hopefully it gets confused. Yeah, baby! The world hates Ronald, <laughs> based off of that. It getting confused is a sign of it. Uh-oh. He might actually be able to kill Mr. Mine, but it's fine. He'll just hurt himself in confusion. Told you. Idiot. Dumbass. Nice going, Ronald. Oh, look at me, so smart. And he brings out someone who is weak to psychic types. How much is your retreat just? One? We can literally afford that. Uh, go here, go Mr. Mime, retreat. Huh? What does this guy do to you? He's Ronald! No, he's just Ronald. He sucks. We can just remove this one for BM. <laughs> and confuse him. He's the rival, but he's also just the shitty. But he's back when rivals were little shitty people as opposed to your friend. Name one. Bead? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, we can use this to swap into another Pokemon if he brings out, um. Tauros to try and stall for time. <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of beating his ass right now. We are. We only need one more prize card, and we're done. Yeah, that this Taro, you at this point, his only way of beating us is decking out. Oh, you can try actually killing us here. Nah, this is gonna do 40 max. Only 30. We're that's fine. Not, yeah, that's easy. We're fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see who you have here. Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee, game over. Hitmonlee is a one-hit kill. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that's what we're doing. Gust of win. Bring him in. I was gonna go for the one with the two retreat cards, but that that works too. Yeah, this is just an instant death, and then we win the game. All right, bitchin'. Get out of here. Not even confused. Just dead. Good, man. I was so happy that we didn't have to lose to Ronald. <laughs> Ooh. Take that. Shoot, I let you win, but a loss is a loss. So I'll give you this card. What the super card and uh, super energy retrieval? Oh, tr retrieval, okay. If this was removal. Trade two of you. We have a super energy removal. No, it's this is a retrieval. Trade two of the yeah, other cards. Yeah, but we, we have game. a removal that's super. Yeah. Of the four basic energy cards from your discard pile. Huh. So basically, discard two cards, get four energy cards from the grave back to your hand. Yeah. It uh, probably depends. Don't get so cocky just because you won. The legendary Pokemon cards belong to me! Goodbye, Ronald. Alright, time to check our mail. Okay, nothing. Save, please. <laughs> All 
All right, our st current status is we've won five gym. We beat five gyms so far. We beat the tournament, and because my PS4 controller, for whatever reason, died out on me, <laughs> I think it's a good place to end the stream for now. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we can come back uh, next Monday for some more and see if we can beat it then. Um, real close. We just need to do one other, two more tournaments, fight three other gyms, and then we can finally start fighting for the legendary cards. And then we'll see how our deck Hell is. Hell yeah. We'll also maybe look into uh, adding some more non-psychic types. Just because, oh my god, that normal energy fight is so brutal. Yeah, maybe we, we get like a, an easy to build, like a few Hitmonchans or something that don't require a lot of investment. Yeah, I think Hitmonchans would likely be better. We don't need evolutionary fighting types. We just need fighting types. Tauros would be great. Because Hitmonchan's doing 40 for one energy to a normal type, which is big. Yeah, that's, that's pretty huge. That's enough to stop some early game stalling and stuff like that. And then later on, he does a lot of damage. Uh, Hitmon Lee would actually be pretty good, too, just because he hits the bench. And if you're going to get scrunched, as we saw against the gym leader, <laughs> who tried to scrunch True. us to death, we just ignored him and beat him up pretty easily from there. But yeah... Thanks a lot for joining us for the stream. We'll be back uh, hopefully next Monday. We'll see. Actually, I can check on my schedule right now. One moment. It, it's it's always last minute, so I don't know if I actually have work for next week or not. I'll probably know a little bit more Wednesday when I talk to some of my bosses and stuff. Let me see. When is the 13th? Currently looking clean. So let's hope it actually stays that way. Hell yeah. Yeah. I don't mind work. I actually want more work, but uh, work on days that we don't stream or record would be ideal. <laughs> and later in the day. But alright. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out!